<laughs> his eye. <laughs> Wait, look at this. <laughs> okay, first off, uh, I'm I'm playing a sad Sonic. Also, the textures are a little bit messed up for the ears. Also, I think all of the music has been replaced by remixes of Big Chungus. Oh, it's Ronald McDonald, but his textures are messed up. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm Sonic. What did you do to this game? I improved it. Last stream, I didn't get to really play as Sonic, so I decided to, you know, just put Sonic over Knuckles. He's not that happy about it, but he'll get used to it. Just, just give him time. Oh man, I sure do love Emerald Hunt stages. They're, they're, they're my favorite parts of these games. I'm like, oh wait, playing through levels and like having fun? No, I want to search for like small little collectibles for uh, 45 minutes. Oh, there we go. There's one. Where's the next one? Oh, there it is. Oh, this is pretty, this is pretty easy actually. So, uh, our job is to rebuild the Master Emeralds, you know, like true chads. Oh, it's inside of his mouth. Okay, wait, there we go. Thank you, Salty, for playing this game the way it was meant to be played. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. You know, a lot of people, I, I feel like, don't play this game properly. You know, I, I was one of those people once, but now I know the majesty of how this game is supposed to be uh, played. Oh, dang, Money Pit, Scrooge McDuck. Let's go. I didn't, I didn't want to see uh, the victory screen anyway. Also, fun fact, one of the mods I'm using right <laughs> I'm sorry, I was not expecting the expression to change like that. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Father, please. <laughs> the big chunk is in the background. I really enjoy how the, the, the music the music actually kind of fits. If you didn't know it was a big chungus remix, it would probably work. If I had the opportunity, I would love to like make a mod where I, I like me, like I would record all of the lines right? for every character. Oh, the game just crashed. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> the game crashed. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Did it crash again? <laughs> it crashed. It crashed again. <laughs> okay, let's hope this works. Select your character. Awesome. Also, check this out. Who's your daddy, Shadow? That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Here I come. Here I come. This game is pure jank. Yeah, pretty much. Sonic's thinking a lot about life right now in this walk cycle. Finally, the digging gloves. You've got the digging gloves. Press the jump and action buttons simultaneously. I love how his pupils go over his face. Jump and punch at the same time. Oh, that is jank. Jump and punch. I have to press two buttons at the same time for that. I do not remember being that complicated. Okay, I'm here with the monkey self-destruct switch. I turn it on and then, and then I go, woo. Uh, 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 sorry, chat. Genuine question. What is your like comfort food? What is a food that you can eat and you're just like happy? Recently for me, it's been like chicken and broccoli, pizza. Pizza's good. It depends on the pizza for me. Cockroach. <laughs> okay. All right. God, this stage is huge. Are sometimes found underground. That's great to call, but where, where? Is this thing on? Hello? <coughs> uh. 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 Hi guys. <coughs> oh. Ugh. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta drink some water. Hello everyone. Sorry, just doing a couple of things. <coughs> Uh, where's my lo-fi? Where's my cool lo-fi beats to study to? <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you want an explanation as to why I'm late, that is why. Oh my god. Sorry, like after I eat, I, I got like acid reflux, so I'm like, ugh. Mm. You'll probably hear me burping quite a lot. Mm. Ugh. What'd you eat? I ate some chicken. 
uh, I got a rotisserie chicken while I was out. And I, I carved up the chicken. I put it in a bowl. I had some bananas. I had some veggies. Oh, yeah. Unseasoned? I no, I put some seasoning. Listening to the Aquabats. <coughs> Unrelated <coughs> to stream, just thought it would be awesome. I mean, like, I've heard the Aquabats are kind of like my style. So that's probably a good suggestion if I'm being real. Thanks for the donation. Not only did you recommend me something, but you also paid me $10 to recommend me something. Hey, shout- <laughs> This feels so fucking ungenuine. No, but thank you. <laughs> just like, hey! You just paid me $10, I'll listen to anything! Let me tell you. <laughs> um... Okay, hold on, I'm just gonna take a swig of water and then we'll get started. Is what I would say if we were starting because I forgot to tweet about it. I forgot to tweet that I'm live. Oh, yeah. Whoops. I forgot. Speaking of recommendations, you talking about the Sonic IDW comics in the last stream finally got me to check them out. I've been binging them all day, and I have to say I'm really enjoying myself so far. So thank you. Oh, no problem, dude. I 100% I thought that donation was going to end and be like, I've been binging them. And God, they suck. God, that was a horrible recommendation. You should kill yourself. Anyway, here's ten dollars. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, uh, I was I was planning on potentially playing uh, Iron Lung tonight, but I I was really thinking about it, and I was just like, damn, dude, I want I want so bad uh, to just to just play more Sonic. Huh. I love Sonic. Also, uh, this is something that I should talk about. Uh, I made a tweet. I made a post on Twitter, and this this goes out to everyone here. I need you to retweet this tweet. I'll showcase it in a second. If you if you like my recommendations, you'll love this. Just want to make sure I uh, queue up my tweet. There we go. Okay. So, for some context, I put out a tweet. I'll, I'll switch over to... Actually, no, I won't switch over to Frontiers yet. I'll, I'll just put it on screen. <clears throat> I put out a tweet because my side channel got access to this thing called Creator Music. Or Creator Library, or whatever it's called. It's this new YouTube endeavor where oh, yeah. uh, creators can... Sorry, um, I am like oh, no. Super hyper fixed on the Aquabats. Did you know Travis Barker, famed drummer for Blink 182, was a former drummer for the Aquabats? I actually heard he about that. A character called the Baron Von Tito. He was only there for like two years, but yeah. I actually didn't know about that. That was something I remember hearing that trivia. But anyway, there's the thing called the Creator Music Library. It's a new thing that they're rolling out on YouTube. Uh, my side channel got access to it first, the video dub. So I was going through it because I was like, oh, this is interesting. And basically what it can do is it'll allow you to license music for YouTube videos. Uh, a lot of them are cheap, but some of them are really expensive. Uh, and some of them you can't license, but it's like a revenue share. So if you use the music in a video, like the revenue from that video gets paid out to both you and the, the license holder for that music. <clears throat> so anyway, this is this is what is happening with that. I open it up because I, for the first time ever, I, I, for context, I have been trying to license music from this band called The Good Rats for the longest time. They're like a local band in like New York. They're very small. I love them so much. I can't play their music on stream, but I'll, I'll give you what they look like and stuff so you can check it out. It is so good. People on this stream know. I love this band so much. I've recommended them multiple times. You can find them on like Spotify, YouTube, uh, some of their best songs, Advertisement in the Voice, Tasty, whatever. I've been trying to find out who holds the licensing rights to these these songs because I want to use them in videos and projects uh, and I haven't been able to find them. The only lead that I've had is sending them a message through their website, but I, I they 
the, I think the website's like long abandoned at this point. Anyway, I look up on Creator Music. I look up, uh, oh, maybe they have stuff on Creator Music that I could license potentially because it's a smaller band. Like maybe I could just like license their music. Maybe like they have some music to license that are linked with YouTube Music. Um, no, no. At the good rats, let me license your music for projects, please. I'm begging. I'm on my fucking knees. I've been trying to find and get the license holders for ages. So basically, if you look here, like at all this, like this is. Uh, this means that like if you use this music in your video, it won't get taken down, but you like, you'll get demonetized. And I just, uh, I want, I want to license it so much. I want to license it for, for videos and stuff. Like, this is music I listened to ever since I was a kid. Um, 100%, if you're interested, go look up the Good Rats. This is like, this is what their albums look like on the left here. Two of my favorite songs, Tasty and Advertisement in the Voice. Also, Does It Make You Feel Good is also really good. 100% recommend. Audio is messed up. Please fix audio. What's happening to the audio? Hold on. Is audio audio is fine? Audio is fine. Okay, I was making sure. I I think if 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 you're uh, put in the comments for the people with audio issues, uh, just refresh the page and that should fix it. Audio kind of good. Okay. Okay. Audio. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. YouTube streaming. The um. Something's wrong with the audio. White boys talking over the mic. Refresh. Refreshing works. Okay. If you have audio issues, please refresh. Hold on. I'm just making sure. Okay. Got it. Um. So we're going to get into to Frontiers. Sorry for the wait. But if you guys could, please go to that tweet. Please go to that tweet that I just oh, yeah. showed. And just retweet, please. Retweet, like, spread that shit. I can't find the license holders. I've been trying. I've been researching. I don't know who owns the rights to the, the music. And I'd, I'd really like to talk to them. Like, please. I'd really, I really appreciate it. Also, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, I put up the VOD on my side channel, uh, yesterday for the second stream, and there was no audio. So, whoops, my bad, posted the wrong file. Now it's, it, it's gonna be fixed soon, I'll, it'll be fixed by tomorrow when I post the third VOD. So if you watch the side channel VODs, uh, then that's good, but if you wanna watch the VOD now, it's up on this channel on the live tab. But anyway, enough, uh, dilly-dallying, we're gonna hop in. Sorry for, uh, the wait. <laughs> Uh, it should pop up any second. There we go. <clears throat> but yeah, if you guys could go to that tweet that I showed and, uh, and blow that up for me, because I really, I don't normally ask people to blow up tweets for me. This is really important to me. I, 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 I very much would like to figure that out. <laughs> oh, great. Now, now I have to blow my nose. I just started. I just blowed it off. Hold on. I feel like I have a head cold, but it's like not. It's not like super hardcore. Anyway, um. Okay, have we lost all of our viewers because I was blowing my nose and like talking about music? Cool. Let's uh. Let's hop back into Sonic Frontiers. Okay, hold on, I'm plugging in my controller, I forgot to do that. There we go. Oh, my, my phone is giving me a reminder to eat. Let's go, I already just ate. Mission accomplished. So yeah, I was just talking, uh, I, I just started the recording for the VOD. I ate some fresh chicken, 
veggies, bananas. And we are back in Sonic Frontiers. Let's go. Uh, I think we're, yeah, we're going over there. That place that I thought I couldn't go, but like is, is there. Chat, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you some tips, okay? Some tips, tips on working. Uh, in the past couple of days... <gasps> SHINOBI! No, I'm out. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, uh, I have had... Kind of like a lifestyle shift in a lot of ways. Uh, for a while, I was having issues... Uh, with like focusing and stuff like that. And basically what, what I, what I did was I kind of completely over overhauled my lifestyle a bit. And if you're interested in knowing how to be productive, listen up, I'm, I'm about to, about to shoot some facts at you. First off, here's what you're going to want to do. Before you work each day, go out for a 30 minute walk. Oh yeah, indeed. Um. Okay, I have something. I have stuff to say about Infinite about that donation, but I'm, I'm gonna finish what I'm saying first. Go out for thirty minute walks. It will legit change your life. What? Move. Move, move, move. Why I why ran into lava? Okay. But yeah, go go for thirty minute walks. Jesus Christ, am I not allowed to have fun? I wanna... Do I have to fight this thing? I I guess I have to... No, I'm... I'm just gonna skip. Okay. No! Why? Why would you... Why? I'm not done with the Aquabites yet. I saw them live in concert. The MC Bat Commander threw water on people and chucked the bottle in the audience. This stream is so chaotic! surf little kids on pizza floaties. They threw shark floaties and beach balls. We just started! Cool Aquabats fact! Is this thing following me? Oh my god, please! I mean, you are on Chaos Island, okay? Yes, I'm telling- I'm telling you- I'm telling you- Okay, I'm gonna move back for a bit. I'm telling you specifically, touch grass, go outside, walk for 30 minutes. And then after that, after that, oh, there, there's rings up there. Okay, hold on. How do I get to those rings? I'm telling you specifically, go outside and touch grass. Non-derogatory. It's, it's so good for your mental health. You would not believe. If you go for like a 30 minute walk before you uh, do work for the day, it is so positive. Second off, have business attire. Even if you work from home, like wear shit that you normally wouldn't wear. For me, I hate wearing jeans, but when I want to like work for the day, I put jeans on. I don't know. It like weirdly grounds me. I, 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 I can't explain it. And then after that, there was another thing. Another thing I wrote down today when I was doing work. Eat bananas. That was it. This is gonna sound wacky as hell. If you can eat a lot of bananas, I I said I said this on Twitter. I ate like three bananas for breakfast, or with not for breakfast, with my breakfast and with my dinner, and I no no joke had like the best day of my life. I I was thriving that day. I I. And you know, there was a lot of things going on that day that were pretty positive, but I 100% think that the bananas helped. The bananas have antidepressants in them, like natural ones. And they taste good. Not everybody's gonna like bananas, but they are awesome. Please, eat bananas. If there's one thing that you take away from my streams, eat more bananas. Go out for fun walks. You can listen to music while you're on your walks. Sometimes I just don't even listen to music. I just like completely like I just like get some fresh air. It's good for your brain. Sorry, I wanna wanted to open up chat because I wasn't seeing it. 
But what the hell is that over there? It's a purple door. I wonder how to open that. But anyway, yeah, so that's my spiel. 100% guys, I, I've talked about this on Twitter. I've, I've seen the reactions to it. Do yourself a favor. Go out for 30 minute walks. I know it sounds stupid. But like, it is so great, especially like right before you're, stout, you're, you're about to start working. Like, it completely refreshes your brain. I've read studies on this too. It is not unfounded. There was like this study of like, they they got a bunch of they got a bunch of people and they were like, okay, we want you to make like create ideas for stuff, while uh, while watching this video, or working on this thing, and then they were like, okay, we want you to do the same thing, but now, we're gonna have you like uh, sit, and do nothing for a bit, and like the boredom like cured them, the boredom like actually helped. Salty, can we get workout vlogs? I don't even consider like walking, working out. I mean, it is healthy for your body in that way, especially if you do it consistently and have a good diet. Honestly, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't even like calling it like a diet, you know? I feel like diet is such a weirdly negative term these days. Especially like so many like weird fitness gurus are like, you gotta diet! And it's like, no, you don't. Just eat things that are good for your body. You don't have to like st stop eating. Or like uh, prevent yourself from eating certain things. Just like eat stuff that's good for your body. Like uh, get some proteins in there, like like chicken and meat, and some veggies and some fruits, and carbs and stuff. You'll you'll be all good. Combine that with some walking, you'll feel great. Anyway, that's uh, that's my spiel on taking care of yourself for today. It's not gonna be the last time I talk about that. I fucked up. I fucked up on that. What does this want me to do? Is there like a... Hmm... When you're going back to funny guy? <laughs> Is that good enough for you? Motherfucker. Okay, I'm ignoring this for now. Um... Oh, here's something funny for you. I think I'm hallucinating. I think I've begun to hallucinate. I was working. This has happened multiple times. I'll be working on a video or like like doing some paperwork. And out of nowhere, I'll just see something out of the corner of my right the corner of my eye just like like scuttle away like like scuttle. Every time I'm like, "Wait, was that like a bug or like a rat?" No, it's nothing. I go over and look at where, where the thing scuttled. It's like a little black thing out of the corner of my eye. Freaks me the hell out. I think I might be hallucinating. There might be a gas leak. Now granted, this happens when it's very late at night. So I, I could just be insane. I could just be overtired. Hey Salty, you mentioned chicken. Ever had uh, or heard of Jollibee before? I have heard of Jollibee from my friends uh, who have gone there. But I have not gone there yet. Oh, yeah. Also, wait, why is there a timer? Hey, I completely Santa forgot. Supreme, you probably don't remember me, but I last donated during the Ali and AJ stream. I've actually transitioned, she slash her, since then and I'm now unstoppable. Anyways, oh. hey chat, have you heard of a webcomic called Homestuck? It's about a G. I was, I was about to say that you're so valid and then you brought up Homestuck. So, you're really testing my patience. Also, congrats, but I, the, that Homestuck thing, you gotta work on that. Oh yeah, I forgot Homestuck is a slur, I shouldn't say that. My bad, my bad guys, my bad. Okay, got another wrench. I need to figure out how to get over to that island. I figured out a puzzle. I didn't mean to, but I did. Yeah, let's get some hashtag trans rights going. We can't have enough of that. Put that shit out there. I, I always get so like, like I get like a lot of people are like, oh, don't spam even if it's positive. But like, you really can't say trans rights enough. 
You know what I mean? Especially like today. You guys know what I mean. There is treasure stuff right there that I missed. Please be wrenches. Yes! Sega has given me a bountiful gift. Oh, whoops. Fuck that one up. Some people might say that I'm off track, but I'm actually getting a lot of wrenches, so... Not that off track. Uh, oh, I could probably do... Oh, no, I can't. I don't have any gears. What happened to my gears? I, I thought I had some gears. <clears throat> Where am I going? Oh shit! I think we're going to the island! That'd be awesome. I would love to do that. There was a wrench back there. Couldn't get to it. This game has some awesome set pieces. Oh, I saved that so hard. You guys see that shit? That's some quick thinking right there. Salty, what's your opinion on Roger's performance so far? I, I actually like, I'll be real. When I first heard it in like the, the gameplay trailers that were going around or the clips, I wasn't a fan. But I've actually grown to like it a lot. It fits the tone of, like, the game and the way that he's written. Like, you know what I mean? There we go. Funny Salt Boy, is this game worth 60 bucks or should I wait for the sale? Depends. How big of a Sonic fan are you? I'll say this. In general, I think that this is a very good game. Um... However, I feel like some people might not j enjoy Like, do you like Sonic and open world type stuff? Then you'll like this. Especially if you're a big fan of Sonic lore. There's a lot of Sonic based like lore and really good writing in this game. I actually watched uh, Critical's video talking about his experience with the game so far. And not it was overwhelmingly positive, like more than you would think. However, uh, something that didn't seem to resonate with him that much was the story. So I can definitely understand if you're not like me and you're not like a pretty hardcore Sonic fan, it might not hit as hard. But there's like so many like great callbacks and like a lot of stuff is like continued. Like a, a lot of re really interesting lore is elaborated on. There's something about that that's just really fun. So I, I would say personally, personally, I... I really like it, and I would suggest this. I, I think it's worth the $60, at least for me. But if you're not, like, a huge Sonic fan, uh, or don't really care that much, you know, maybe wait for a discount. That's valid, too. But I do think the game is good. I do think it's good. I don't know. Is that is that a good review? I can't even tell. But this, this feels like the start of a new era for Sonic in, like, a really good way, if that makes sense. Like, I'm really enjoying myself. Um, this is the first time I've streamed a game, like, sequentially every single day since it came out. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about Infinite. Who wants to talk about Infinite lore? Remember Sonic Forces? How shit that game was? Let's talk about Infinite. Uh, fuck. I dropped. So, Infinite. Motherfucker. So, Infinite, apparently, the lore that's going around right now is that Infinite is, uh, dead. Which I don't think is true. A lot of people are saying... Uh, so, to recap. Infinite was a new character in Sonic Forces. He is a jackal or like a wolf. Uh, that was a part of like a pack of a bunch of characters. Uh, and 
what ended up happening is that he teamed up with Dr. Eggman and Dr. Eggman gave him this thing called the Phantom Ruby and it was like a whole fucking thing. Uh, however, at the end of the game, he just kind of like dipped the fuck out. He didn't even get like a final climactic character moment or final battle. It was just like a quick boss fight and then he was just like, okay, I'm out. And we don't really know what happened to him. However, a lot of people have been pointing, uh, there was a thing ca that came out called the Sonic Encyclopedia. It's like a giant, like, so Sonic-based encyclopedia of, like, Sonic lore and stuff like that. However, in that encyclopedia, uh, it was apparently revealed that Infinite, uh, was consumed by the Phantom Ruby off-screen and presumably died. Now, I have a couple of problems with that, not because, not just because it's like really lame, but because a lot of people point to that book and they're like, oh, this is canon. Not so. Not everything in that book is canon. The reason that I say this is that the authors of the book before it came out were trying to do damage control because everybody was like really excited about the book because they're like, oh my God, a definitive Sonic canon. Uh, no. Uh, a lot of the people had to come out and be like, yeah, guys, uh, we're really sorry, but... Uh, the book is not necessarily a definitive Sonic canon. It's just a collection of, like, all of Sonic events and stuff like that and information about characters. It's almost like a glorified Wikipedia, but in book form. So that thing, that write-out about Infinite, also, I, I'm paraphrasing. It was a lot more vague. Holy goddamn fuck! Well, what will you do? Jesus Christ, this thing is crazy! Whoa! The best I can. That's gotta be the coolest freaking Sonic line I've ever heard. What are you gonna do? The best I can. Oh, what the fuck? But anyway, yeah, I don't think that Infinite is dead. Uh, and also, the Encyclopedia is not a definitive Sonic canon. So just, just letting you guys know that the authors of the book literally said that on Twitter. They were trying to do damage control. It did not work out. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I, I was too busy focused on this saw blade. <laughs> oh... I love these little, like, mini, like, boss fight type sections. But yeah. Don't slow down, the track disappears. I'm trying not to slow down. Oh! That's an insta-kill? That was an insta-kill. Oh my god. Oh, I left the I left the cocos behind. Ooh. Apparently, that's an insta kill. I hate that when, like, when you boost and then jump, it, like, stops the boost. Not very satisfying. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh! Oh my god, why didn't I make that? Oh. God, these set pieces are so freaking cool. Oh my god. Here we go. Look at that giant cylinder in the middle of the map. What happened? What? Huh? Huh? Do I have to start? Oh, okay, I have to start over. 
That's unfortunate because I don't I don't know what happened there. See, I started saying by saying that this is a really cool fight, but I'm going to start hating this any second now. But yeah, uh, I I made a thing on Twitter. I was like, I think that Infinite's going to be a part of this game. And everybody shit on me. Everybody was like, Infinite dead. No, he's fucking not. He's not dead. He's not dead. You think I'm coping? You're coping. He's not dead. He'll be back. I swear to you. In some shape or form. Apparently, I've heard that Infinite actually gets mentioned on this island. That is the word on the street right now. Sorry I'm not reading chat. I am so focused on trying to get this right this time. Fuck. Infinite had such a fire design wasted on a mid character. This is what I'm saying. Infinite was done so dirty by the writing of Sonic Forces. He could be a such interesting character. Like, imagine the current characterization that they have with, like, Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, the really shitty one where, like, he's just really angsty for no reason. Apply that to Infinite instead of Shadow. Infinitely better character. Whoa, oh my god. So impressive, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Have you met Geronimo Stilton as a kid or what are your childhood books? I I'm sorry, the oh yeah synced up perfectly with what Sage was saying. So pretty good, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh I Ch like books I've read as a child hungry hunter hungry hungry caterpillar was my shit That killer caterpillar was very hungry book did not lie Uh, what other books uh captain underpants that also was my shit If you haven't read captain underpants get into the fandom man not only are they gay, uh, <laughs> not only are they gay, <laughs> I meant to say not only are they great, uh, but they actually have some pretty solid gay representation in there. Love to see it. This game would be like a thousand times better without any sort of 2D sections. Cannot do that. Damn. Okay. Hold on. Nope. Oh my god. 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 Yes! Wait, what's happening? Wait, did I finish that just as a cutscene started? Oh my god, I did! I finished that puzzle as a cutscene was activated, like summoning back up all of the, the enemies. <laughs> that was amazing timing, I didn't even mean to do that. Also, I saw Hannah sent me a video. I can't check it right now, I need to, I need to get like these little gem thingies first. Uh, I wanna go fishing with Big, so... Give me more of those purple coins, please. Oh, hi, Tail. Come, Tail. Come, Shaddix. It's time to pay the price. Nice! Let's go! These kill exploration kind of for me. Oh, what do you mean? Like, the, the meteor showers? I love the meteor showers. Like, yeah, please give me like free shit. Oh, what? White boy off the shits. 
Let's go. All right. I don't know what ramp I just hit. That was very much not intended. That is awfully close to uh, some lava. Oh, come on, come on. Give me some more fishing coins. I would take some more fishing coins, please. Nice, let's go. Yes! I'm gonna fish so much. Look how many fishing coins I have. go on I forget what, what is oh it's the excavator dude I can't fight you I'm, uh, I'm busy I'm busy I don't want to fight I'm literally fishing until like daytime and all the cocos I'm getting let's go Ah, okay. Well, that's it. Uh, what was I talking about? I, I, I forget. Why are stats so low? Because I haven't been upgrading. I analyzed the cyberspace portal the last time you were accessing it. While you were online, it opened up a flood of data. It was way too much to process, but I did get a glimpse of the ancient's personal data. Oh, so... What, oh, yeah. you know all their birthdays now? Oops, stinker. Much more than that. Sonic... It was their very essences, their hopes, their dreams, everything that made them what they were. Do you see the correlation? Sounds a lot like what happened to you, Amy, and Knuckles. I mean, I'm glad you're all intact, but why were you all uploaded like that? Lore. Anyway, I was told, I was told that Hannah has a video. Hold on. Just quickly save my data. Where'd you where'd you send it, Hannah? Discord. I've I've seen this video. Really, Hannah self promoting in chat for fucking shame. I've seen this video. I'll play it, <laughs> but you're an asshole. Hold on. I think I think Hannah voices a character in this. If you if you guys have seen this video before, it, it is this a I thought it already had over a million views. Like I could be wrong. This is yeah. This I think this went big on Twitter. Your Jordans are fake. Fake as hell. Dollar store ass shoes. You laugh now! I just saved up for a pair of Yeezys. Yeezys are canceled. Jesus Christ, it's so loud. Uh, don't don't mind my my uh very strange recommendations. Oh shit, Rohan Kishibe. Also, go go listen to Matt Matt's new song. Matt Watson from Super Mega. He makes good music. Sing or die. Oh, yeah, it was the, the food theory video. Guys, I don't know if you guys do this. Uh, food theory? Matt, uh, Matthew Patrick from Game Theory, he started a channel called Food Theory. Shit's actually kind of awesome. I love those food theory videos. A lot of them are really interesting. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Yikes. 
Green Hill's looking a lot more like No Hill right now. But yeah, my levels are really low. I gotta like upgrade my shit. I love doing an insane amount of tricks. I know it does like almost nothing for me, but I don't care. How, how do we get over there? I was I was over there before. Oh, there's some rails over there. Hold on. Weep! Can we get a hashtag life theory? Here's a life theory for you. Go out for a walk 30 minutes each day. Go outside of your house, outside of your apartment, Get fresh air, or I will find you and kill you with no prejudice. I want I want an accurate counter of every single time I've had to do a flip off of those like gymnastic things. Ah! No, I'm stuck in a side scrolling segment. Why did they design it this way? Oh yeah. Whoa. How much of a viewer Andy are you, Germa, or have you seen Cake It's Zoro Rehomi BTW? Have you seen the Crypto the Super Dog cartoon? That is so you just asked so many questions. How much of a viewy Andy are you? Okay, so I sadly am not able to catch Jerma streams as much as I would like uh, because I just work so much. I love watching uh, Super Daz's compilations of him. I think they're really well made. And they also inspire me with some of the editing on my compilations. Like, I really like how Daza puts like a almost like kind of a narrative to it. Like, he, he compiles multiple streams into one and then alternates between them while multiple different like things are going on. It's really satisfying to watch. Um, uh, what, what was your other question? <laughs> Do I watch the Su Crypto the Super Dog cartoon? Yeah, I saw it when I was a kid. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I sometimes just watch Jerma while I'm like doing busy work. His content is very like, uh, what's it called? It's it's very easy to just kind of like have in the background if that makes sense. Have you seen Keikatsu Zorori Homie? I don't know what that is. Let me let me see if Google spread shed some. Hold on, I'm trying to copy it from your donation and it keeps highlighting the entire message. Keikatsu Kaikat Kaiketsu Kaiketsu Zorori. It's a book series? Oh, is it the, the little blue guy? The little blue cat guy? No, wait, no, it's not. It's not the blue cat guy. It's... I have no idea what this is, I'll be honest with you. I do not. I don't know what Kaiketsu Zorori is, I'm sorry. So I, I've never seen it before. But I try. You know what, you, you, you can't say that I didn't try with that donation. Oh, I can't I can't save my game when I'm in a side scrolling section. Interesting. Oh, oh. Okay. Ooh. Um Mother Mother Uh uh No! <laughs> ah! Yes! Ah! I peace salt fam, I gotta go to bed. Okay. Bye. I'll miss you. Think about me in your dreams.
I'm gonna haunt you. What's your favorite flavor of fort? I thought that said your favorite flavor of fart. Fort is somehow more confusing than fart would be. What do you mean, fort? Fort. What is your favorite flavor of fort? How do I get over there? A lot of this game is me trying to be like, okay, how do I get over there? Oop, another treasure thing. No, wait, I've been here before. I've done this already. Okay, so there's got to be like... Something I can do to get over there. It's just like floating in the middle and I don't know... Where exactly to go. Maybe over here? Oh, I think, I think I'm... I think I have the right thought process. Hold on. Yes, here we go. Yes! This is exactly what I wanted to do. Jesus Christ, this is treacher treacherous. Treacherous. God, my speech impediment is coming out in full force tonight. That's the tonight! Damn it! That didn't even have a button prompt on it. Oh yeah! Hey Salty, how sick would it be to fly around all of the islands of Supersonic after the game story ends? That would be sick. Probably not gonna be a thing though. Motherfucker! <laughs> Leave me alone! What did I do to you? Oh, thank Christ. Thank God I have enough wrenches. I, I did not want to do that entire thing again. Oh, yeah. Hey, Salty, could you say hi to my Blurbo Ada? Also, trans rights. Your Blurbo? Uh, like the Tumblr thing? Also, that? hi, hi, Ada. I think it's an environmental analyzer. Are, are you talking about Ada from oh, the Hell House? <laughs> Are you telling me to say hi to a fictional character? Because you said Blorbo, which is like a Tumblr thing. I swear to God, if you just got me to say hello to a fictional character, I'm going to hunt you down and kill you. What is happening? No, it's me. I'm Ida. Okay, hi, Ida. I was gonna say, when you said Blorbo, I got confused. So, all of the lasers shot from the heavens. And it destroyed everything. So, that was a thing. Epic genocide moment. Whatever assaulted the island, an entire civilization was that destroyed. Was with Dark Gaia, <laughs> like we need to find the emeralds pronto. Agreed. We'll rendezvous later. Wait, so did everybody saying Dark Gaia in, in chat? I I don't think I catch that. Did they mention Dark Gaia, or are you guys assuming that it's like Dark Gaia? They mentioned Dark Guy. Okay, I completely. Sometimes I'm just like I look over at chat, or I'm talking about something, and I completely miss something. So you guys are like my eyes and ears a lot of the time. They literally mentioned. Uh, they, were they just like referencing it, or do you think that it has to do some with something with Dark Guy? Let 
Listen to the cuts. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's 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 hard. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I will listen to all of them from now on. If there's a donation or like something, I'll just like I'll talk about it after. I don't want to miss out on anything. Didn't I just do this before? Oh, it's just this thing again. He said it was on par with Dark Guy. Okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah. What's your favorite type of Chow? I gotta know. Personally, the Dark Swim one is my favorite. I. That's that's hard for me because I I don't really have a favorite because I don't know I don't know all of the types off the top of my head. However, what I can say what I can say is that uh, I do I like Dark Chow a lot in general. Dark Chow I feel like have like some of the best designs. But uh, I don't really have an exact favorite. I think Chow in general, like a lot of the variations on their designs are just really good. Who is Dark Gaia? Oh, it's a thing from Sonic Unleashed. It's like uh, it's like this giant deity that like came from inside of the planet to like destroy the world. It was a really big event. At least I think I'm getting that right. If I'm not, feel free to call me out on Sonic lore. I, I don't mind. Oh yeah, well I, I of course I like brass mo, but oh, we're talking yeah. about types of chow. Salty, this is such a fun looking game. I just now finished watching stream two. Yeah, this game's hype as hell. Also, this is a giant Eggman robot. I just now realized that. I'm having a really good time. Again, it's not a game that's for everybody, but I love it. I love it so much. What is this? Huh? Oh, is it like Limbo? Huh? No, no. Hold on. Okay, focus. There we go. Limbo? No, it was not Limbo. It was Jump Rope. Sorry. <laughs> Look at all those Eggman's robots! Whoa, my head's spinning! Those, those lines will forever live inside of my brain rent free. Oh, yeah. Would you watch the 1993 Keikitsu Zoro Ryoval introduction live on stream for us? What? <laughs> huh? I'm pretty sure that's going to get me copyright striked. I don't think I can do that. Also, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been trying to like not uh, watch random stuff that people send me. Because uh, that can get a little bit, a uh, little bit too much sometimes. So uh, I am sorry. Triple Jazz called me a man child for liking this game. I feel like there's more context to that. I think I know who Triple Jazz is. I mean, Triple Jazz is entitled to his opinion, but he doesn't have to express it like that. It feels like a very like toxic Sonic community opinion. Unless you were like coming coming to him and being like, if you don't like Sonic Forces, you're stupid, then yeah, that's like man child behavior, but um If you were just like, I actually kinda like it, and then he was like was like you're a man child, yeah, then that's stupid. No, like one hundred percent, there's gonna be a lot of Sonic fans that are just like this is actually not the way I want the franchise to go. And they're like, that's valid. You can feel that way. Like, I want a new adventure game. But I think that this is great, regardless of that.
look. It's an assault model Death Egg robot. It looks pretty entrenched. That's what I'm saying. I'll take a look around. Let me know if you find anything. You don't see something like this every day. These things are tough to take down, even for me. I wonder what took it out. Maybe that ghost girl. Hey, Sonic, I found a remote control panel. It's still online. Well, let's see what Eggman was trying to do with this thing. And if it goes bad, you can shut it off. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What are Activate your thoughts Degas on Super robot. Mario Brothers Z? I remember you making a tweet about making a video on it while episode 2 of the reboot was still being worked on. Also trans rights. Uh, Dr Super Mario Bros. Z uh, was a huge impact on my childhood. I don't really know anything about like the creator or anything. I just I really like Super Mario Bros. Z uh, as a product. Uh, that shit like changed my life as a kid. I think that was like the first like major fan project that I ever like watched or wanted to try to watch. So hope that helps. It's really good. It's still really good, I think. Um, sorry, hold on. Answering a text. Okay, back. Access the console on the Death Egg robot. Uh, this is the craziest mission yet! Wait, what? Huh? Use the two different uh, attacks to hack the program. Uh, move light shot LB, dark shot RB. Counter the program's attacks by matching the color of the program shots. Each successful counter will fill with the homing laser. Uh, when the meter is full, fire the powerful homing laser by pressing RT. Oh, dark shot. Oh. oh my god, they're switching too fast. Okay, hold on. I think this is what I'm supposed to do, right? There we go. You're invincible oh, to whatever yeah. color you currently are, BTW. I've spent hours buying Steam trading cards of Sage and now I've caused massive economic inflation. What should I do, Mr. Saline Daniel? Well, Saul, Saul Goodman from uh, Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. Hold on, I I caused issues. That was bad. But according to the music, it's really good that I did that. Congratulations, you've destroyed ancient ruins. Woo. The last remnants of his civilization are now gone! Revealed a subterranean pathway. Be careful though. Whatever took out that super badnik might still be lurking around. I hear that. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you later. Saul Goodman, I think that you should uh start a GoFundMe. I wouldn't donate to it, but I mean you should start one, it'd be funny. It'd be so funny if you did that. You know, th that's like, that's like my 100%, my 100% thing that I always do when I'm working on like a project or anything. I'll be brainstorming and I'll be like, does this sound funny? Like, even if it's like one of the dumbest things you've ever heard. Like I'll pitch ideas to my friends for like video ideas and I'll, I'll go like, if this video were to exist, would you watch it? 
like I was talking to my friends and I was like, hey, I'm thinking about uh, starting a project where I upload edits of that one movie scene from Jack and Jill, uh, Duncan Chino, for an entire year and a half every single day. You think that that's a good idea? And they were like, no, that sounds like a waste of time and it sounds stupid. I was like, so you're saying it's stupid and nobody would ever do it unless it's me. Okay, well then I need to do it. But yeah, sometimes I it's it's for me it's just as easy as just being like uh, it's just as easy as just like looking at myself in the mirror and being like, is this idea really dumb? If if I put this thing into existence, would it make me laugh that it existed at all? If yes, do it. Unless it's like killing someone. If that makes you laugh, uh, issue, <laughs> issue there, bud. I, I still need to like make a video talking about Daily Dunkachino. I, I put that off for a little bit. That was supposed to come out like the day that the account stopped uploading, but I just completely just... I'm not gonna get those rings. I just like completely didn't have the time to make a video. Because I just wanted to talk about like why I did it. Other than the fact that I thought it was really stupid and I just like had the idea like 1am. I remember, okay, so if you're not aware of Daily Dunkachino, I started a Twitter gimmick account called Daily Dunkachino, and its main purpose for an entire year, and this was, I think, when the pandemic was starting, its entire existence for a year was dedicated to posting edits of a single movie scene, the Dunkachino scene from Jack and Jill. And the account did pretty good. I think it, like, got... Oh, nearly 60,000 followers. The, the last time I checked, it was lower than that, but I think that's because, like, Twitter, like, was getting rid of follows or something. Because, like, I stopped, like, using the account. So I just uploaded, like, random edits of this, the same scene every single day. And there, there was, like, a little small community around it. People were making their own edits and submitting them to be posted. It was really fun. It was a fun little pastime. However, uh... It got to a state in which, like, I never put my name on the account, and I did that on purpose because I thought it would be funny to, like, just kind of do it and not say it was me and just see how far I could take it. Doesn't look when like I revealed... House. A lookout tower, maybe? When I revealed that it was me, so many people in the comments were like, Oh, okay, I never found this funny ever. Meanwhile, they were, like, following the account for, like, a year. They're like, oh, it's a salty guy. This, that's why they were never funny. And I was like, I see your likes. You liked a lot of posts from this account. It was just, it was very telling. It was like, oh, no wonder these are so cringe. And I'm just like, what do you mean? I, I see your following list. What? <laughs> you can't lie to me. It was, it was really funny. I was like, what are you guys talking about? Listen, you can dislike me all you want, but if you like this stupid funny meme account, then, you know, no one's gonna hate you for that. Oh, literally, it was like, oh, Salty did this? Not funny. It was never funny. I never enjoyed this, not one bit. But I just, I thought it was funny, so. <laughs> Wait, did it, did I not press the button? Oh, I have to press that one too? Whoa. There we go. That almost went bad. Hey, Salty, have you heard of the project Sonic Underground Revamped? I'm quite excited for it. Uh, is that the one where they're doing their own take on Sonic Underground? And instead of like Sonic and his siblings, it's like Sonic, Amy, Knuckles, and like Tails. It's like a more modern aesthetic. If so, yes, I have heard of that. I'm actually aware of quite a few fan projects when it comes to like Sonic and stuff. Sometimes people will just like, 
like come to me and be like, hey, do you know about this thing? This like really niche thing? And I'm like, yeah, I follow them. Manic and Sonya are actually still in it, LOL. Oh, are they? I didn't think that they were. I thought that they were like completely like removed and it was just like kind of like a more modern take on it. Also, where, 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 ta where my, my guy tails at? Where, where do I have to go? Oh, Sage is over here. I got a lot of wrenches. I don't know where, uh, I don't know where this is. Also, yeah, Wrath of Nazo. I, I think I watched the first one when I was really young. I don't think, I don't remember the full, the full film, but I remember, I do remember engaging with that. Uh, and then I think the, the guy who made it, who I follow on Twitter, he, he was working on like a fan film, like a reboot fan film of it or like a sequel. And sadly, it had to get canceled because just like it was just a huge undertaking he wasn't ready for. And like, that's totally valid. But apparently he did like a, a, go a good chunk of work on it. I think he he was planning on like releasing it on his channel at some point. Have you ever noticed the current gold thing on the top right of the screen? That's just saying just saying, oh, yeah, I got to collect vault keys. Duh. I'm a moron, my bad. Um, let me see if I can get off here. Make my way over. I'm gonna hitch a ride on this thing. Or not, or it's just gonna fucking abandon me. Ah! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of grapes a uh, guy are you? Re white, red, or black? Um, I didn't know that grapes came in white. And quite frankly, that sounds concerning. Uh, I like purple grapes. Purple grapes and green grapes. That's my shtick. White equals green. Oh, that's that's what you meant. Well, why didn't you just say green grapes? Why you call them white? Is there like some grape lore that I'm just not aware about? You know, that's the number one thing I wanted to hear about today. Grape lore. I would love to know more about grapes. He doesn't know the grape lore. Just speaking of cool things that I would like to have in my life. There we go. I don't think we've done a single cyberspace stage in this area yet. I should work on that. Oh, please don't trigger. Please don't trigger. Okay, thank you. I'm going to see if I can uh, if I can go over to Sage. Because she's over here. Oh, yeah. I wish it was easier to go off ramps in this game. I feel like it would be really fun to just like launch your stuff yourself. Sometimes I just launch in the air like this and I do it on complete accident. I, I want to do it on purpose. Hello. Let me let me talk to Sage. I'm not solving a puzzle. Or do I have to get out of range of like enemies? I think I think I had to get out of range of enemies to talk to her. Ooh, there's another one. There we go. So I think I've figured it out. The Coco are the spirits of the ancients, aren't they? Literally. They are. I've run into my fair share of spirits who stick around because of their regrets. Sometimes I know everything. I, move on. I am so Just smart. I mean, soul spirits, they're still. the same thing. Were we brought here to help them finally find peace? You mm. ask me. Find peace. Because That's also something I called. I Let's like go. Be in the same boat. 
And if so, I'll help if I can. This is literally, I, I can't stop winning. I can't stop predicting this stuff. Okay, let's go into our first cyberspace stage here. Did he just reference the Werehog short? I mean, I guess you could kind of see that as a reference. No, literally, I'm like the Sonic lore Chad. I just stream, I stream this. My girlfriend's like, Derek, we got to talk about our relationship. Like, uh, pass. And then she asked me, Derek, we got to talk about Sonic lore. And then I just go like, boom, let's go. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, please tell me I, I have this. I do. Yes. Hold on. My girlfriend's like, we got to talk about our relationship. I'm like, nah, I can't. It's like, we, yo, we, we, we got to talk about Sonic lore. Why, yes. Yes, madam. You need help with Sonic lore? Well, I'm here for it. Let's talk about Sonic lore. You're looking quite dashing today. Talking about Dark Gaia. And the Echidna Tribe. You look quite fashionable. Milady. Can just hear this from across the house. You think I have a house in this market with my income? <laughs> nah, I got an apartment, man. Also, we don't live together. At least not yet. We're planning on moving in at some point in the next uh, like year or so. It's going to be awesome. We're going to move in together. She's going to break up with me because I'm annoying. It's going to be great. You have a Sonic the Fighters arcade machine. Well, that's different. That's di okay. This is bullshit. You can't. You can't compare the housing market to Sonic. Yeah, if anybody didn't know that, I, I own a Sonic the Fighters arcade cabinet. Why is Sonic so slow in this stage? Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard of Ultra Kill? Also trans rights. Trans rights? Sorry, I'm very angry, and I don't want that to be reflected in the trans rights, so I'm trying to stay calm. Also, what is this music? I need to use this in a video. What is this? Damn, this is like, this goes hard. What? Sorry, I'm like getting so into this music right now, you don't even know. This level actually goes kind of hard, I, I will not lie, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this level.
Nope. Ball. Uh oh. Uh oh. This uh, this is a creative idea for a level. Like it uses pre pre examining level gimmicks and are like, hey, if you don't want to get hit by this thing, then uh, then die. <laughs> kind of like that. What is happening? There we go. See, now I gotta let it go down. Like, what a fun idea that is to just have, like, these rings like this. See, look at that shit! This is a good cyberspace level. Despite the fact that I died. Oh. Despite that despite the fact that I died twice. Despite the fact that I died three times. Despite the fact that I died four times. Oh, come on! I was just saying it was a good level! Well, I'm not getting that S rank. Also, I also see some red rings in the background. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, reorienting. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, salvage that. I don't know how that happened, how that worked, but it did. So we're gonna take that W. No, why, why, why? Okay, thank God I got a checkpoint. Oh my God. God, I wish I was better at this level. Remember not to touch your soft spot. Don't worry, I don't need a tutorial on that. Oh, that almost went really bad. There we go. Okay, there's uh, red rings over here. Need to make sure to get these. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> really? That one threw me for a loop last second. Oh my god. Why are you moaning? I- Not moaning. I just- I'm not moaning. I'm not moaning. Let's see if we can get an S rank this time. I'm gonna focus so hard on this. Okay, here we go. Doing amazing so far. So far, so good. Oh! Oh my god, I thought I fell. I almost boosted right off the cliff there. Oh my Jesus. Okay, here comes that part I kept dying at. Okay. 
I can't. I can't write this. You can't write stuff like this. You can't write this. I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna continue like nothing happened. Because nothing happened. Oh shit. I 100% did not mean to do that, by the way. Like, that, that I, I need to clarify that I, that was not on purpose. Oh. I think it was two minutes, 30 seconds, right? Buy some McNuggies on me, my treat. Hey, thanks, Dirty Curdy 88 You a real one. I will buy some nuggets with that. Which, oh my god, you know what's better than nuggets, though? Have you ever had, uh, the, like, apple pie from McDonald's? Oh my god. My friend Mikey put me on that stuff. Oh my god, I, it's a problem. I need to stop... Stop ordering that that stuff. Not that it's like bad that bad for you or anything, but it's just like, oh my god, I'm addicted. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Motherfucker! I'm right there! Look at this! I was two seconds off! I could have actually made it if it wasn't for that stupid spike! Oh no wait, no, I I, I thought it was uh thought S rank was uh two minutes and thirty seconds. I uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. This game is actually great. Izuka, if you're watching this, uh, and, you know, I know you are. <laughs> Biggest fan. Sorry, at the last convention, you were like, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, amazing game. Just letting you know. It's a really good game. As much as I want to play this uh, level a another time and uh, get 30 rings, uh, I don't. So, I'm not going to. Izuka, if you're in chat, please make the S ranks harder next time. <laughs> I mean, they, they probably could make the S ranks harder. But I don't want them to, so... And it's not a skill issue thing. It's not. It is not a skill issue thing. If anything, I just want the game to be easier for other people. You know, I want it to be more accessible. That I think Sonic should be accessible for all sorts of people. All sorts of skills. You know? Man, the classic blue squares. I love going through these blue squares. I just so good, right? I heard Dobby is going on tour with Markiplier. You're just making shit up, but I love you for it. Please, by all means, make more shit up. Anyway. I don't know what's going on over here. I'm going to do it anyway. Ooh, is that a wrench? Nice. Okay, so... How many keys do I have? I have thir 13 keys out of 14? That's a lot of keys. I might actually be able to make it over there. Yeah, let's, let's try to make it over there. Why not? Whoa! I, I cannot wait to see speedrunning for this game. It's gonna be like hype to watch. I'm missing any cuckos. I think you like Sonic. No, I don't. I've never liked Sonic before. And if you think so, you're fake. You're fake and cringe, and, uh, yeah. Salty, remember the time I had to poop really bad? Yeah, I, I remember that 100% random chat member whose name I don't recognize. 
I remember that day very well. That day was the birth of my first son. And I named it after your shit. It was a very important day to me. And that was the first thing I read in chat while I, hel I held my new baby boy in my arms. You have a second son? <laughs> yeah, I got all sorts of sons. The first one, the first son is named Poop, Poop Miser. It's like Heat Miser and Snow Miser from like uh, those stop motion Christmas specials, uh, but with like poop. I thought it would be funny. Jess doesn't know this, so don't uh, don't bring it up to her. Uh, and the second son is named Craig Daniels. That's his full name, no spaces. We pay child support. I support them emotionally. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang, I don't have enough keys. I need more keys. I went here all the way here for no reason. Name your next child Jimmy Hockey. <laughs> like a guy named Jimmy who's just all about hockey. That sounds like an amazing idea. Hey, what's going on there? My name's Jimmy Hockey. I love playing hockey, and my name's Jimmy. <laughs> I, I quite I quite like this character, actually. I'm gonna get a new skill right before I die. I think it's a good time to get a new skill. Uh RT in the air. What? What was that? Okay, there we go. All right. Can't wait to get back to gameplay. I'm alive somehow. Let's go. <laughs> I want to get that spring. I did it. There was nothing there. Why would... Okay. Yo, Izuka, my man! Gotta say, great, amazing game. So well coded. Let's try that again, that was funny. You can replicate it. You can replicate it. Whoa. Definitely 06 energy, I will not lie. Oh! Oh, that was sick. That was an amazing save. Holy crap. Gotta say, sometimes the physics in this game are actually kind of goaded. Oh, I almost just fucked myself over. Okay, I gotta do that all again because I fucked up. Help me, Salty. I slept for 18 hours. What day is it? Uh, that's a good question. What is today? Is it Thursday today? I always lose track. I think it's Thursday. See, I got wrenches up the ass, but I don't need wrenches. I need... I need to uh, get uh, little, little keys.
Okay, you know what? Let's fight the squid. Why not? Let's fight the squid. I'm feeling in a feisty mood. Let's fight the squid. Even though I'm severely underleveled. What? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kevin Hart played one of the dis disrespectoids. Wait, which one? You can't just say that and not have, like, sauce. You know, despite the whole underleveled thing, I kind of shredded that boss. Oh, I thought that was Dialga. I thought that was like Dialga from Pokemon. See what I mean? You see like the, the silhouette? That looks like Dialga. Right there. Ooh, 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 oh. Cyberspace. Let's go. Uh, loom up, look up the Capri Sun shorts and you'll see him play as the chicken character. Capri Sun shorts. I looked up, <laughs> I looked up Capri Sun shorts and you're, you're not going to guess what, what showed up. You're not going to guess what showed up. Imagine the Riz. Imagine the Riz that you would have wearing these. You would get so many bitches wearing those. 100%. The, you got the Capri Sun drip? Like, my God. I just looked up Capri Sun shorts and I'm just getting like YouTube shorts. Capri Sun. Hold on. Capri Sun disrespectoids. Shorts. Oh, my video came up on one of them. On one of the searches. Okay. Holy shit, Salty DK Dan is live? 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 I love how it just kind of like fizzles out. I love how it just kind of like fizzles out. Echo! It just like fizzles out. Echo! Echo! Fizzles out. Echo! Echo! It's like I'm. Sh it's like I'm shouting Echo! down like, like a hallway. It's like I'm shouting Echo! down like, like a hallway. It's like I'm shouting Echo! down like it's a like hallway. It's like I'm shouting Echo! down like, like a hallway. It's like I'm shouting. Do, do you guys think that I could like harmonize with myself? Hold on. Putting that on Spotify. <laughs> somebody, somebody said the horror. <laughs> this is what it sounds like to be on edibles. This is what it sounds like to be on edibles. This is what it sounds like to be on edibles. Anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wait, a duck apparently found it. Hold on. Hold on, I'll see if I can uh, pull it up. What, did you send it to me on, like, Twitter, duck? Or uh, did Hannah send it to me? Hannah sent it to me. To me. Hold on. God damn. I don't want to. I don't want to watch this. It's animated. This came out 12 years ago. No. Give me the Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart guy. Why? No. No. I came here for Kevin Hart. What is this? Are you sure that Kevin Hart plays like the chicken? I don't hear it. Also, what is up with this girl's head? It's like she has hair on the front, but not on the back. <laughs> what barber fucked her up? Oh, I do hear it. I do hear it. Oh, that's why her hair is fucked up, because she's got a face on the back. I'm good. I don't need to watch anymore. Why did you send this to me? Why did you send that to me? Is the thing. That's my question to you. What was the point in that? <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed a clip from the Disrespectoids cartoon. Okay, let's play cyberspace stage. I'm out. All right, let's go. I missed the red ring. Hold on. I did not miss the red ring. Is this just like a grind rail stage? Is that what this is? Like, is that the gimmick? Not like in the lasers, though. Nice. Oh, I missed a red ring. What the hell? I missed the, the other red ring. What the hell? I'll get the, I'll get them on the second run. Can you do Sonic Frontiers in first person? Honestly, that's probably possible. Somebody just has to make that mod. I don't know if uh, I'm capable of doing that. Are you going to ever touch the Salty DK Den No Context account? Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. I should probably like do something with that. I have been posting clips on TikTok. I probably should like start posting those clips other places too. Also, the, the Shorts channel is actually uh, posting now. But I don't know how long that's going to live because uh, apparently uh, YouTube Shorts are better on the main channel, but I don't necessarily want to put them on the main channel. Just trying it out, just posting clips for funsies. No, 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 go back. How the hell did I pull that out of my ass?
think there's a red ring on this track, right? Oh no, it was on the other track. Wait, I have an idea. I'm a genius. Check this out. Oh, I'm so good. God damn it. Now I just gotta land on that lower rail, right? There we go. Boom. Now I just need uh, two more rings. God damn it. No, 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 I needed two more rings. Damn it. You should revive Flipnote Hatina. Do you think that I have the capability to revive an entire social media site? What does that comment mean? It, the the main goal here, just get a bunch of rings and get to the stage in a fast amount of time. Alright. I think I'm already going to get a really good time on this, I think. Probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have avoided that, but whatever. Wait, you can't... You can't use the light dash? Mother... It's fine. Got 30 anyway. It's fine. Everything is fine. This looks hard as balls, TBH. Uh, it's not really. It locks you. It locks you in like uh, side-scrolling mode, so it's not that bad. All right, there we go. You've saved my life tonight, Salty. Cool. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I want to bring back Jimmy Hockey from earlier. It's my new hip and cool character so that I can be relatable to like people in the streaming space. Because people like hockey, people like people with relatable names like Jimmy. Hey, what's going on? It's me, Jimmy Hockey. I'm coming after you. I'm going to hurt you. That's like what relatable people say, right? Apparently people really seem to like it when you threaten them. Or are like racist. Or xenophobic. People seem to really like that online. So, I need to go, I need to start over here. Okay, hold on. Chat, tell Salty to parry in midair. I think it would be funny, I think. Let's see if I can do that. And like, hit off one of these rocks. This game is so playable. I think it only works when I boost. It's like hit off of a rock. Hold on. And next time I'm in the air, I'll do it. Wow, you could just do that. Why is this a thing? This has got to be broken. This is just... The parry in this game is 100% broken. In more ways than just combat. 
You could just hold it. There's like no... I could just hold this infinitely. Why is it like that? I 100% think that it, that has to not be like what it was supposed to do. Bro, your aim is so shit. What? I didn't even... I'm just stomping on its head. Fuck you! <laughs> Give me that gear. I do not want to be in a 2D section. Contrary to popular belief. Such a normal game. Salty's anti 2D. I'm not anti 2D, I'm just anti Sonic doing 2D. We've already had it. We already have it in the classic games. We don't need more of it. We don't need more of it in the modern games. Sega, don't put 2D in Modern Sonic Games Challenge. Impossible. Impossible mode. Please stop getting my hopes up. I beg you. Ooh, there's another one. Hold on. Playing this one. I think you've attracted Sonic Frontiers haters. No, I do like this game. I just also admit that it's a Sonic game, so it can be kind of broken. Like, you, you can tell that some of the later levels, like... There's a little bit too many 2D sections in this... This part of the game. There was not this many 2D sections in the first area or the second area. Like, it keeps locking me into 2D sections. I don't want to be in a 2D section. I want to explore. Whoops. This one's not that bad so far, but I feel like I'm going to change my tune soon. Okay, here we go. Why is Forces so intent on making me do gymnastics? I get that Sonic is agile, but how many times have I used one of those swinging poles? I just did a full circle. I'm an idiot. Oh yeah. Man the limited 2D in this game is so charming. The limited 2D sections in this uh, this level is so charming. Ah, die. Motherfucker! <laughs> I might as well reset the stage because I'm not going to get the S rank now. There we go. How are you supposed to avoid that? Fucking... Like, how are you, like, supposed to avoid that? That's crazy. Okay. Okay, 
Serious mode this time. Serious mode. Serious mode. Serious mode. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. I'm just going for the S rank and maybe the ring thing. Hey, Salty, third time catching your stream. How are you feeling? Additionally, I still enjoy your content. Thank you for being a really epic person. Please tell me if this joke is getting old, but I'm really tired, so I find this really funny. Yippee. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what, what joke uh, you're, you're making a joke about, but I am doing okay. I am doing mentally... I'm so mentally stable right now, it's crazy. Sorry, I'm focusing on gymnastics. That is how you do it. That is how you fucking do it. What? A one second off? N what? No. What? Are you fucking kidding me? I did that like perfectly. What are you telling me I was one second off? Bruh. Thank you, Wingus Dingus. I was doing fine before before this happened. That's bullshit. That is that is horse shit. That actually angered me. I'm angry now. Angry salty. Clear with S rank time final. Okay, well, guess we're, guess we're clearing it with S rank. Hold on. I have a new strategy. Check this out. <laughs> Hold on. Check this out. There we go. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Streamer is gaming. Let's go. Fuck! I mean, no, I meant to do that. There we go. Gaming. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm stuck here. This is not where I wanted to go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, gaming, gaming. We're gaming, we're gaming, we're gaming. I'm so good at gaming. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Recover. Recovered. Recovery. Oh my god. Check this out. Oh, that's got to be an S rank, right? I didn't look at the time. This got to be an S rank. Oh! Mm! Whew! Barely made it. Leaving cyberspace. I'm out of here. <laughs> out of here. Out of here. I'm I'm leaving on a high note. I don't need to get the red rings. A man has fallen into the river in Lego City. Start the new rescue helicopter. Hey!
build the helicopter and race off to the rescue. Prepare the lifeline, lower the stretcher, and make it to the rescue. I saw that in the I saw that in the chat, I just needed to read it. I I love those Lego City commercials. <laughs> okay, this wasn't what I was trying to do, but Okay, uh, gotta make it over there, but where, how do I make it over there? Don't mind me, just activating infinite boost. Didn't think that's what that was, but all right. No. Unfortunately, copy pastas never die. Oh. However, they will become more bearable given time as new copy pastas come along for us to hive mind bond over. Yeah. Uh, check my map. I only have one emerald, so I really got to speed through some of this because I've been toying around a little bit too much trying to get uh, all these items. Speed run. Well, first off, I want to figure out what this is. Oh, yeah. So glad to hear you're mentally stable. It sure sounds like it. For some reason I wanted to explain the non-joke. Basically every time I join your stream I donate with a long-winded message. That's about all I can type. Sorry if this was weird. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, dude. I just didn't get it. Sorry, Wingus. I just completely went over my head. I'll be honest. So, such a good game. Okay, let's go this way. Go over the lava. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's me, Jimmy Hockey. My favorite day of the week is Wednesday. I'm the cool new character. Actually, never mind. I hate Jimmy Hockey. It's so stupid. It's it's stupid. I just heard the name Jimmy Hockey and I was like, oh, no. Yeah, that's like that's funny. God, I'm losing it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I keep getting distracted. This is like Breath of the Wild all over again. This is like Breath of the Wild, but for people with ADHD, like I, I can't. I can't focus. There's too much happening. There's too much happening at all times where I'm like, Ooh, I want to do that. I want to side loop that. I want to side loop that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Ah! Uh, okay. I got to go over there. Like streaming this game is like, I, I, I feel like I'm on like edibles and I, I like, I'm being like flashed with like the same content that makes my brain feel good like every four seconds. It's like, it's like, hey, I know you want to go to this island, but do you want to solve this puzzle really quick? It's like, yeah, I could solve a puzzle right now. Why not? Why not? I got time. I got, I could, solve, I could do, I could do a puzzle. Why, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, hey, this is that segment from earlier uh, where I kept dying. This is not where I wanted to go. I thought that was going to bring me like up there. There we go. What? I thought that was going to bring me the other direction. Okay, hold on. Where do these grind rails start? What the fuck? I want to go to the I want to go to those grind rails. 
Or these? Do these go in like the same direction? Jesus Christ, I'm getting so lost. It's like a big open area and I, I, I keep forgetting where I am. Okay, this is bringing me to where I want to go. Finally. Guys, stop talking about Jimmy Hockey. Dead character. It's a bad idea for a character. I should have never brought him up. Oh my god. Ah! Um. Okay, there's a line right here. This island is very confusing. Yeah, I gotta say, not a big fan of, like, the fact that this is, like, multiple islands that are split up. Like, it's cool in theory, but oh my god, I keep getting so confused. Wait, hold on. Was this... Oh no, this was uh, one of the underground caverns. I was like so confused for a second. All right, let's get this emerald. You started this, you, you need to give us a Jimmy Hockey lore stream. I'm not doing a Jimmy Hockey lore stream. Where I like have, I, I have like a PowerPoint prepared. Like, okay, so this is where Jimmy Hockey was born. This is his best friend, uh, Ted Lasso. Not the real Ted Lasso, he's just a guy named Ted Lasso. Just circle around this. This has got to be something, right? Got to be some wrenches in there. Whoa! Let's wrench it up! I think I think Sonic should say that. Let's wrench it up, baby! Let's wrench it up. You look nice today. Are those new slacks? Looking good! Oh... Serotonin. Okay, uh, yeah, I already did that one. How do I get over there? Seems like... Seems like it, if I go over here, there's grind rails. Oh! Recovery. <laughs> okay. Okay, I remember going on this grind rail now. I remember being over here. God, it's already been two hours streaming. That's nuts. It isn't Sage over here, didn't I? Didn't I like waypoint Sage? Oh no, Sage is over. Oh, was over there. Yeah, I already did that quest. Might as well get the Chaos Emerald while I'm here, though. I was about to say, you guys think I can make this jump? You guys think I can make this jump? <laughs> I doubt it. Hold on. Nope! <laughs> It'd be cool if you could. It would be cool if you could, like, launch yourself. But, uh, game don't work like that. Do it anyway? I'm not going to do it, guys. Contrary to popular belief, I like to live. Like I said, contrary to popular belief. <sighs> Every time. Every time I say something, it's like a curse. Somebody on Twitter said it was like a passive ability. 
every goddamn time I'm like, I'm like, oh, I, I'm really good at this game, or oh, I, I don't like dying. I just, I go fucking flying off the rails. Oh, whoops. Run over to Tails. I should have like a crap ton of wrenches right now, right? I have like 156 wrenches. That's gotta be enough for like every remaining cutscene that I need on this island. Aww. This Coco has little like goggles, like safety goggles, like Tails uses when he welds. They need to find the parts to complete their final weapon. Oh no, he's a pilot. Never mind. I'm sure you've run into this scenario already. What did you do? Well, I helped him out. But isn't that cruel? Their battle is long over. This feels dishonest. We're not fixing the problem they think they have, but we are bringing them peace. Well, I knew it. it. I called way. this. This is the thing I called. We're, we're bringing the Cocos peace. Because the Cocos are like... Okay. The Cocos are like... They're, they're like the souls of the ancients. And they still remain here on the island with unfinished business that we're supposed to help them out with. So, like, in a way, they're not even, like, kind of fully aware of where they are. And, dude, honestly, me too. Same as fuck. We need a few more pieces, but we're having trouble finding them. Gotcha. Be right back. Mechanical collectible, break boxes to collect machine parts, gather 600 parts before the time runs out. Oh, I need to be picking this stuff up? Huh? It sounds like Lego pieces. Um, let's see. God, I need a lot of Lego pieces. Missing a bunch. Damn, I am doing a crap job. Uh, ugh. I went the wrong way. Hey Salty just wanted to give you a heads up on this island. It has some pretty harsh requirements to continue the story. This might be another four to five hours stream just because of it. Honestly, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, if that's the case, then I probably won't stream the entire island tonight. Just because I'm like, I don't know if I can do like another five hour stream. I, I've done it like two days in a row. I'm trying my best to take care of myself. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. It's not enough time! Go, 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 go! No! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Yes! Oh, yeah. Fuck! Oh my god! That was so tight. That was clutch as hell.
I didn't realize how the mini game like worked until like halfway through. So, well, how the heck did you do that? Because it. I'm awesome. Is and I can say that because it's not a gameplay section, so I can't immediately kill myself. Did I get the wrong parts? No, their hero didn't show. They're worried something's happened. Oh. It's like how I couldn't handle it after Infinite attacked. <gasps> One wrong turn and I fall apart. Whoa, what? Listen to me. The others are counting on you. I'm here to help, so don't give up, okay? <laughs> retroactively retroactively rewriting Tails character so that he's better again. Let's go. Worried, Tails. Uh. Want to talk? Not right now. Let's just focus on finding the emeralds. All right. Okay. So Sonic lore uh, nerd out moment. I talked about this before. Uh everybody got really pissed uh that Tails was like afraid of chaos of all people. Uh, during the events of Sonic Forces, or even that Tails was like cowering in fear in general. I totally get that. But my headcanon for that moment is that Tails is so deeply traumatized by like the idea of losing Sonic that he was just like, he, he like completely lost his like courage that he had. Uh, that was my headcanon. And the fact that Ian Flynn writing, which I assume that's Ian Flynn who wrote that a uh, bit, that like confirmed in my brain, yes, that is exactly how it, it is canonically that like he, he just like had a lot of trauma and like he, he just couldn't get him sh get his shit together, which like, to be honest, I kind of get. I know that like, I'll be real in an isolated thing. Like, I definitely understand why people were like really pissed about that characterization. I was too. I thought it was kind of lame, but it doesn't necessarily ignore his progression. It just adds a new layer of like, yes, Tails is a very strong character like he he has a very strict moral code. He's smart. He's courageous. But he thought that he lost like his idol and that like tore him up inside because it almost reminded him back in Sonic Adventure. Like, what if I'm not enough? Like, maybe I need Sonic to be good. Like he he, he, he relapsed in a way. And that was my headcanon for that. So the fact that it's being acknowledged and like, like, oh, one little thing and I fall apart like that. Oh, my God. My, my, uh, fuck. Yes. Let's go. I love Sonic. This game is awesome. Fuck. God, I, mm. oh, yeah. really jerking off Tails here, huh? Salty, no, Tails is a great character. I love them. I don't know what a bincherong hey. is. Almost done here. Can you take our friend and find a couple more parts? Yeah. Can do. Why did that sound like... Why did the Coco sound so different? It was like, yeah! Oh man, oh, that's upsetting. You can see Sonic limping. <laughs> Miles Prower, you have known Sonic most of your life. Yeah, and? Your imprisonment within cyberspace. The defeat of the ancient titans. Do you trust how he is handling it with your life? Of course. I'll admit he isn't perfect, but Sonic has overcome impossible odds over and over again. I know he'll save us all. So you're saying you have faith in him? It's not a matter of faith. I've got a lifetime of data to back up my observations. Your loyalty is founded on empirical data. I can appreciate that. Oh, a little bonding moment. In you and the others. Is that a facet of being alive? And yet all your love and loyalty will amount to nothing. It cannot be prevented. What are you talking about? Perhaps it is kinder if you don't know. I like how Tails just revealed all that to Sage. And I wanted that cutscene to end and be like, yeah, Sonic is my best friend. Also, who are you? Why did you come out of the wall? Uh, okay, fine, Tails. 
Sage came out of the 5G tower. More cutscenes, let's go! My favorite, one of my favorite parts of the games is the lore cutscenes, I love them! Ah, oh, poor Sonic. What is your end goal? Eh, it varies. Sometimes it's a spinning sign, sometimes it's a big old ring. No. I mean, what do you want to accomplish? Oh. <sighs> Gather up the Chaos Emeralds and save my friends. And you're sure that is wise? Kind of the story of my life. And the voice that commands you. What if it is leading you to disaster? If they want to start trouble, I'll stop them too. You certainly make it sound simple. But your arrogance will be your undoing. Look, either stop being cryptic and tell me what's going on, or skedaddle. There would be no point. <laughs> I didn't even catch that reference. Nice what, what did he reference? I, on over to I missed it for a second. Skedaddle? Skedaddle name drop? Sk that's not a joke, guys. He just said skedaddle. For your escape. It's about time. Report. After reviewing your entire campaign history, I have found the most optimal course of action is to create an alliance with Sonic. What? But but together you stopped the Ark, overcame Neo Metal. You. I don't want to hear it. Those alliances were purely out of desperation. But time is running out. I don't want to hear it. Find me another option. Oh, Sage is starting to second guess. Legendary, but I do wish you'd reconsider. The Ark? Neo Metal? Damn! Well, three cutscenes in a row? What the hell? Whoa! I've lost count of how many times you've saved me from the hazards here. It is my function. I live to serve. You've exceeded your function. I'm very impressed with you, Sage. No, I'm proud of you. Oh, oh, that is adorable. Oh my God! What? That was so cute. I swear to God, if. If anything happens to Sage by the end of this game, I'm going to be writing a strongly worded letter to Sega, Izuka, everyone. Everyone's getting a strongly worded letter. And I 100% think something bad is going to happen and Sage is going to like disappear or like be shredded into a million pieces. Like, please, for the love of God. I am asking oh, yeah. politely. Is it true that in the Sonic comics that Eggman has a weapon called Egg Grapes that he uses to commit planetary enslavement? Yes. That actually is true. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I didn't, like, I didn't read much of the Egg, egg Grapes stuff. I, I think I jumped into the Archie comics when I was a kid a little bit past the Egg Grapes. But, uh, yes, that is true. That was a cool skip. Oh, my God. That was fun. Um... I didn't mean to do that, but I did. But yeah, the the egg grapes. He he holds pe like he he uh, traps people inside of the egg grapes and then drains their energy. I believe that's also this. Uh, the egg grapes are the thing that gave Charmy brain damage. If you remember that from the video. Ooh, hold on. Drain? Yeah, no, like it drains their energy and like he uses it for like his robots, I assume. What? Hold on. What? I'm, I'm usually so good at these. There we go. There we go. I got line up Sonic. There we go. 
Apparently, yeah, it killed a bunch of echidnas, the egg grapes. Also, I think the egg grape arc is also the same one where where Eggman is fighting Sonic and like he he's like uh he zapped all of Sonic's friends away and Sonic is under the impression that like all of them are gone forever. Like they're dead and that they he, he didn't just teleport them to another location. And Eggman's like, "You're at your limit, Sonic." And then Sonic is like Sonic says the most badass thing I've ever read. In, in a Sonic comic, he's like, it's like, limit, I got your limit right here. And then he, he starts powering up like super hardcore. It's so good. Oh my God. It's such a good panel too. He, he gets so angry in that fight. It's awesome. Oh God. I need to sit down and read through all the Archie comics, like all the way through. Sonic? Am I a burden to you? Wow, man. Whoa. how did you come to this well-thought-out concern? Whenever there's a crisis, I'm either running away or standing on the sidelines. You are always rescuing me when all I do is follow you around. This is big. Who was it who stopped Eggman from blowing up Station Square, huh? Yo! You me out of prison, or saved me from the Deadly Six's trap. I... then I'm wildly inconsistent. They're doing it! They're fixing his character! Oh my god, let's go! Uh, dude, Let's relax. go! You've got brains like Eggman, speed like me. I like how he's pretending to hold butt. his shoulder because he can't actually touch him. It's okay if you still need help sometimes. That's just part of growing up. Bro really said wildly inconsistent. <laughs> you get to be so insightful. <laughs> I have my moments. They say the bridge is out. I'm sure we can fix that. I'll have a look around. Yo, shout out, shout out. To Ian Flynn, everybody at Sega, you guys are doing it. You guys are doing exactly what we all want. Thank you. Thank you for taking Tales more seriously. Hey, I'm back. Did I miss anything? They fixed Tails' character. I, I still thought he was okay, but he needed more, like, clarification on, like, where he's at. So it makes sense. Like, I'm so, Oh, my God. Yes! Thank you, for fuck's sake. Please, if Ian, okay. I don't want to give Ian, Ian all of the credit. Sega is making some schmoves too. They, they, they approved on this. However, I'll say this. Sega, please, if Ian is making some of these decisions, keep Ian writing, please. Ian, if you were responsible for any of this, thank you. Oh my God. Um. 100% Sega, Ian, please keep doing this. Sega, please keep hiring Ian for games. Please let him write, write for the games more. I just, please. Oh my God. Ian Flynn based moment. I'm pretty sure, 100% I think that that was Ian. Fuck, ah! I know Ian's probably not the only writer. I, I should credit the whole writing team uh, if there is one, I'm not sure. Uh, I just know Ian is the one that I think the head writer for a lot of these cutscenes. So thank you guys. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Uh, but yeah. God, I'm so excited. I love Sonic. Ah! Uh, cross the river and operate the drawbridge uh, controls to connect the bridge. Reach the other bank of the time limit. Okay. Oh, this is cool. It's like a little skydiving section. Ow. Oh yeah. Hopefully they'll fix Silver's character, even though halfway in 06 he got fucked over. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll say this about Silver's character, he's a lot better in the IDW comics. I'll give him that. But honestly, the best way to fix Silver's character is just just not bring him back for a while. You know what I mean? 
That's the best way to fix his character at this point. Like, Silver doesn't need to come back for a bit. It doesn't make sense that he keeps coming back. In the IDW comics, if the current canon with Silver... The current canon with Silver is that, like, his his future is okay now. So he went back. What, what they need to do with Silver, if they want to use Silver more, they need to firmly define how time travel works. Because if Silver's future is okay, then that means that there's really no stakes or conflict to, like, anything that's happening in, in Sonic right now. You know what I mean? Will you ever play Sonic 06? I'd be down to, but I would like to play some more Sonic games first. Like, I want to sit down, I want to do, like, a stream of Sonic Adventure 2 that's not just, like, a challenge. Just, like, just, like, a stream of Sonic Adventure 2. I really, you know what I should do? When I stream more Sonic games, I should do it with friends. I think that would be really fun. Like, a, a generic Let's Play style playthrough, I think, would be very fun. Let's play style playthrough with my friends. Based. My friends are some of the funniest people that I know, too. It would be really fun. Plus, it would give me an excuse to talk to people about Sonic lore. I did it again. I did the same thing again. I did these. I almost just killed myself. The only reason I'm not playing this game with friends right now is because of the fact that, uh, oh, I was so close, too. The only reason I'm not playing this game with friends right now is because I really want to pay attention to, like, the lore and stuff. Okay. This time I got it. The way that this one works is a little bit jank, I will admit. I saw somebody on Twitter be like, I know that I'm, I'm probably coping super hard, but this feels like they're setting up for Sonic Adventure 3. And I don't know exactly why they said that, but I do have a couple of theories. Like, for example, the way that this game is formatted, not only with plot, but also just like the fact that there's Sonic gameplay, but then there's a bunch of like mini games with like completely different play styles like this one. like. There's some mini games in this that would work really good with like other characters. I'm just saying, Sega. If you wanted to still do Sonic Adventure 3, I wouldn't blame you. It's okay if it's not the exact same control scheme. I still hold out hope that it's gonna happen one day. I still do. Call me, call me somebody who copes, but uh, I think it's I think it will happen. I think they they they've said Uzuka has said that he really wants to do it. He really still wants to do it. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Oh my god, oh my god, clutch! Clutch! Seeing as all the characters are saying they want to go their separate ways for a bit, we'll probably get a game with a different side cast first. Ooh, that'd be interesting! I mean, I didn't, I didn't know that they were all gonna uh, take, go their separate ways. That might be a spoiler, but it's okay. Um, what I think that this game's main purpose is, besides just being a fun game, uh, is I think that they're going through right now, and they're they're just patching a couple of things up. Because I find it interesting that this is the first game in a while that we've had such a small cast of characters like Sonic, Tails, Amy, Knuckles. I, I like that they're all together in this game and they have a lot of good character moments and they're almost like kind of rewriting their characters a bit. And I really like it. Your hero will be thrilled with all your hard work. Aw. Goodbye, friend. I'm proud of you. Don't forget that. I won't. Oh, this is so good. Oh my god. I've been 
I've been waiting. I've been waiting so long for a Sonic game with writing like this. Oh my god, it feels so good. It feels like I've been like, it feels like I've been blue balled this entire time, and then out of nowhere, it's just like, oh, this is everything that you wanted. Yeah, this is everything that you wanted. Don't worry about it. Being blue balled by a Sonic game? <laughs> That just seems accurate. Oh, man, I'm, this this game 100% highlights to me, at least plot wise, why I love Sonic, like why I have like been obsessed Assaulted with them. Assaulted Sega is hiring people to help connect timeline and lore again and make it consistent. Chaotic might become canon, Honey could return, and the classic characters could come back modernized thanks to this. Yes, I, I saw that, so this is a good talking point. Sorry, uh, I, I apologize that uh, a lot of this, these streams isn't really like, like, ooh, funny reactions, it's just me discussing Sonic, but I I think it's really interesting. Uh, that's true, Duck uh, pointed it out, but they're, they're hiring a Sega, like a Sonic lore master, basically. Uh, and basically it's, and this is this is a sort of job that has existed at other places like I think they have one for like Marvel and stuff like that where basically the person's job is to just keep track of like the canon of a series so that like stuff doesn't overlap in the wrong way and stuff like that you know so basically they're trying to hire somebody to like keep track of like Sonic lore and like help them to make decisions on like what's canon and what's not and stuff like that uh and this game is also further proof of like, yeah, it seems like they're really taking the lore like seriously, trying to connect it more, uh, which is so exciting. Uh, I actually, when I saw that, I kind of wanted to go out for that job. However, uh, I think that there is a couple more people that are well equipped in that than me. Like, uh, like, uh, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm blanking on his user and on his full username because it differs from uh, different sites but uh squid who was in the chat yesterday uh he knows sonic lore like front to back like he has a tiktok where he just he just discusses like comic lore and sonic lore and i started following him because of his sonic videos uh let me see if i can if i can find what his username on tiktok is because that's where he's most active um H, I think it's H Squid Reviews. Yes, uh, it's Humble Squid on TikTok. I'll I'll blast their link. I'll blast their link in the in the chat. So if you wanna if you wanna follow somebody cool on TikTok, uh, who knows a lot about Sonic and like comics, and he also loves like horror stuff, like like all that stuff and and Godzilla uh check him out he does a lot of really really good videos he's also been streaming the game on TikTok uh the Sonic Frontiers so check him out uh yeah no I I think that he should be like the lore master dude knows his stuff he knows all of like the Archie comics he knows all the IDW comics dude dude knows what he's talking about and he's also super chill 100% I actually hit him up uh when I was making my Archie Sonic video because I wanted to make sure I represented like facts accurately and stuff and I didn't want to be like too mean. I know I was pretty mean in that video, but like it was more for fun. But yeah. What about Cybershell? I mean, I think that Cybershell would do really good in that job too. But I, I don't think like, I think he is obsessed with Sonic, but I, I know he like... <laughs> I don't know if he wants to make Sonic his entire life. I mean, hey, if he wants to go out for that job, I, I'd vote for him. That being said, also, uh, everyone, go watch Cybershell. Actually, you know what? 100%. He, he would... Yeah, no. Cybershell would do great. Thinking about it more, like... I don't think anybody wants to dedicate their entire life to Sonic, but... If somebody had to do it, Cybershell oh, yeah. is the one. What are your thoughts on Scourge becoming canon? Yeah or nah? Yay. Yeah, bring Scourge back. I, I made a joke about this in the video, but I should clarify. Um, in the Archie Sonic video, I made a joke about evil Sonic and how stupid of a concept he is. And yes, he is stupid, like an alternate dimension where Sonic is evil and he wears like a leather jacket. That's dumb. However, 
However, later on, they actually kind of rebooted the character of Evil Sonic into Scourge. It wasn't like a full on reboot or anything. There was like plot reasons why this happened. Evil Sonic became Scourge, like that was his name. Uh, he changed his name to Scourge and he got imbued with the energy from the Master Emerald and it turned him green like it turned Knuckles green earlier. Uh, and then he got like cool fucking like like a cool fucking scar on his like chest. And honestly, if you want to see why I love Scourge so much, check out the arc Hedgehog Havoc in the Archie comics. Uh, it's so good. Scourge as a character is really interesting, too. Uh, I'll start the cutscene in one second. I'm not done talking about Scourge. Um, but yeah, Scourge is really good. Uh... And they did this really cool thing in Sonic Universe, the spinoff series of the Archie comics, where there's a whole arc where Scourge is in an interdimensional prison and he has to break out of it. And it's so interesting because we get to see like versions of characters that we've never seen before. Um, and there, there, there's a character named Smalls the Cat in the interdimensional prison, and it is Big the Cat, but evil. <laughs> and it's so funny. It's, it's great. Um, uh, for the IDW comics, uh, I think they took influence from Scourge, uh, when making the character of Surge, and Surge is a really interesting character, I, I like her a lot, uh, but I don't want to talk about her too much because her story is ongoing, and I haven't fully caught up with the recent issues. Uh, she's kind of like a new version of Evil Sonic, but like kind of updated, it's, it's, I like her, she's cool. This whole experience gave me a kind of clarity, when this is all over. I think I need to go it alone for a while. I can't grow into my full potential if I always fall back on you. Tails, my boy. If that's okay. My sweet baby boy. You're free to go your own way. I guess you just... Go your own way? My own way. It doesn't matter how it you. happens. Yeah, don't push it. I love these characters so much. I love these characters. To used to, but here's to you reaching new heights, partner. He got a, he has to fly high to reach new heights. I want to fly high to the heights of all of these heavens. Somebody <laughs> tell me what I mean. Such a beautiful friendship. A family born of love and not oh. genetics. Yes. Hello funny white YouTuber man. Thoughts on how they changed Charmy B's character in the Archie comics, aka how they just gave him brain damage. Oh! Oh! I'll come back to this donation in a second. Look at this! Sage, no! I'm so sad that that donation talked over Sage talking. Oh yeah! Oh. I'll, I'll look at these donations after. I'm so sorry. This is like killing me. The music. The fact that like Sage was like a relationship born of love and not of servitude. Fuck. Ah! I'm gonna throw up. And she's like flashing white because she's like, oh, she's like going through an arc. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Oh, this is heartbreaking. I, I love how they've integrated Sage into this plot, using the de the rewrite the rewriting and development of characters that we know to then inform stuff about Sage's character and her arc is genius. It is genius. And it's like so non-intrusive too. It's like fun. It's it's cute. Ah. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. I'll I'll, ch I'll check out the thing now. If Sage dies, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out. Don't you dare pull a chip on me. I'm gonna freak out. 
Hello, funny. Uh, this is this is a donation from Michael for ten dollars. And Michael said, hello, funny white YouTuber, man. Thoughts on how they changed Charmy B's character in the Archie comics, a.k.a. how they just gave him brain damage. I think that that was like I said it in the video. I tried to my very best to, like, convey this. Um, but basically, I, the way that I feel about it uh, is I I think it's a, a horrible writing choice personally. However, I acknowledge that the people working on the comics at the time were kind of on like really short deadlines, at least I assume, because like that, that's kind of like a big, a weird character addition. However, the writers at the time have gone on record and been like, yeah, we regret this plot line. I think I think Ian was involved with it at one point, but we all know, obviously, Ian is goaded and we can forgive him because Ian is is really cool and chill and like he also acknowledged like yeah like it was just a shitty writing choice and that's okay you know shit happens sometimes you know what I mean shit just kind of happens uh but yeah as I was saying as I was saying yeah definitely uh definitely oh yeah what's it called sadly scourge is owned by Ken Penders he did attempt to give Scourge his own series called Scourge the Speed Demon, but it was cancelled the day after it's announced. I remember that, actually. I, I remember that whole debacle when it happened. Because apparently there were going to be, like, NFTs, too, and, uh, and uh, like, apparently somebody working on it was, like, an abuser or something, or, like, really messed up. Uh, so that was, like, a lost cause. Uh... But yeah, no, I, I don't like the, the choice of giving Charmy brain damage, obviously. Uh, and I also think that it's almost kind of played for laughs, which it, I, I also don't like. But again, you know, like you live and learn. It was a bad idea at the time. And like since then, you know, everybody, I, everybody involved in that has probably become way better of a writer. Uh, so, you know. It, it's whatever. It's just kind of like this weird little itty bit from the Archie comics that now we have to kind of talk about. Just a weird, interesting little note. However, uh, next donation was uh, from Harumi Sakura. They donated five dollars and they said, hi, Salty. Uh, I came here even though I uh, I came here even though I'm having watched the second island stream. But I have to say it the fucking weeaboo voice hurt uh and <laughs> hurt my soul too much as both a native <laughs> the fucking weeaboo voice thing hurt my soul to watch as a native japanese speaker i'm sorry i apologize <laughs> i imagine that was probably a lot salty i'm done asking drink some damn water for your health it's been three streams now for the love of god Drink some water. You, you, bro, you think I haven't been drinking like every other second? I have a huge jug of water next to me. I always have this next to me. Ooh, nice gear. Uh, and then the next person, Michael donated again and said, I'm sorry, funny white YouTuber man for donating during cutscene. The payment went through late. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. I just felt bad. I couldn't read it. Um, And yeah, I think we're caught up on donations. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I gotta make sure to when it, during cutscenes, I'm probably not gonna read donations. I want to make sure that I, I pay attention to what's happening, you know. Okay, we need to. What we need to do? I need to find Big's fishing hole. I want to find Big's fishing hole now. I guess I'll do some puzzles to like re up the map. Ooh, it's one of these things. I'm good at these. Oh, this one's big. There we go. Big's hole? No, guys, Big the Cat's fishing hole. I'm not looking for his hole. Like, like, in that way. 
That is not what I am looking for. I need to clarify this. I'm not looking for Big the Cat's hole. You know, I might be underleveled for this island, but I'm, t I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, everybody's projecting, like, sexual things about Big the Cat onto me. And I... I don't... I don't like Big the Cat like that. I just want to hang out with them. The people who say the Sonic series should just be lighthearted and have no lore because it's too edgy, aka Aaron Hansen. Bad opinion. Bad opinion. I... Okay. I think that there's room for a lot of opinions about Sonic games. I do. I shouldn't... I shouldn't say bad opinion. I should... However, if you think that Sonic is better when there's no lore and there's no, like, there's no, like, fun... If there's no lore, then what is the adventure for, you know? Like, th there's gotta be, like, something about the adventure to talk about, you know? I'll talk after the cutscene about it again. Uh, what I would give to study this ancient technology properly... Hmm. Whoa, what the ring's doing in that? Like what? You guys see that? Uh, so no ancient cannonballs then, huh? Wait, are you saying this is a beam weapon? Like on the egg carrier? Exactly. From what I can tell, it has its own battery, independent of an outside power source. Moreover, its capacity is ludicrous. It could level a mountain. It's almost up there with the Eclipse Cannon. But that was plugged into the Ark's reactor. This is freestanding. Don't get me wrong, I love the fact that they're calling back to stuff yeah, and referencing cool, it. But I mean, they built these but they've been doing this the entire something. game and starting to feel a little bit <laughs> a little bit on the nose. They're like, guys, guys, we can reference stuff. We can we remember the things that happened. We remember. Oh yeah. Salty, hope you're having fun. Nothing else. Just have a fun night. Also, do you think I can ratio Ken Penders? I'm tempted because the acting sus again, as usual. I mean, hey dude, if you want to ratio Ken Penders, I cannot stop you. Uh, but I also don't think we should, uh, harass the guy. I dislike Ken, I do. But I also don't, like, uh, I don't advise, like, just harassing people. I think you should just let him fade out into obscurity. Like a real Chad. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I do make jokes about Ken Penders, but I just, I don't want anybody to, like, go nuts with that stuff, you know? Unless he deserves it, like, with that weird comment about autism. Do you guys see that? I put it in the video, but he just like weirdly like compared like he was like all Sonic fans. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, so this is bad, but like he was just like, I feel like Sonic fans have a bad time expressing themselves because they're autistic. And I was like, um, what? What is wrong with you? What? Like, you know what I mean? Like that that's in some insane shit. Um, does this game have a cocoa counter? Yeah, I have a cocoa counter on the left. I have like 67 cocos. I haven't seen the elder cocos in a while. This island is very vague. Uh, I guess I'll... I guess I'll run around the island and, uh, get the next thing. But yeah, that shit was, like, crazy. When that happened, I was like, oh, I... I do not regret ratioing you at all. It was very ableist. I was like, mm, um, don't like that. Don't like that. Wrenches. <gasps> A key. Let's go. Oh, is one of the chaos? Emeralds? Yes. All right. Get the chaos emerald. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the Chaos Emerald. I was gonna go, uh, fill out more of the map, but... Chaos Emerald is calling. What the fuck? Has that always been up there? Did I just miss that? No, I don't wanna go up here. Oh yeah! Just as excited about the lore in this game. I enjoyed Shadow so much because of how much it focused on story. Even though it wasn't that great. 
Also do more comic videos plaza. Would love to hear your ideas on the stories. Also Sage is my fav now. Oh, if... <laughs> I have some great news for you. I can't talk about it too much yet because it's not done, but I, I did bring it up last stream. Uh, if you want to see my take on like a fun Sonic story, there is something coming out that will scratch that curiosity. I'm very excited about it. And it'll probably come out before the end of the year, so look out for that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with the main channel with it, but it'll definitely like I'll talk about it on my Twitter a bit more when it's relevant. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a thing over here, I think. And let me tell you something. It's been a while. Like, I've always wanted to, like, write stuff like that. Like, fan fiction and stuff. But I didn't want to just, like, write fan fiction. I wanted to make, like, a little project out of it. Because, like... I do a lot of YouTube stuff. I have, like... I do business stuff. I have some money that I can like work with artists oh, yeah. on stuff. I should do that more. Speaking of lore, can we get a fish lore update? Fish lore update? Uh, well, it's, there's not much fish lore because we haven't found big on this island yet. And also, I think we have. I think we got all of the the fish. The fish stuff. I think we got all of the fish and all of the Eggman logs already. And they were all very interesting, like, oh my god. But yeah, what I was just saying earlier, like... The problem with, like, opinions, like... <laughs> I shouldn't say the problem. I, I feel like I'm super generalizing. I shouldn't do that. Um, Like, what that commenter said before, like, I think uh, Aaron Hansen has made comments like, Oh, uh, I, the, the, the game shouldn't focus on lore then, like, it, there's just nothing substantial if it doesn't have at least some sort of lore and, like, world around it. Like, yes, gameplay is super important for Sonic games, but some of the most memorable stuff about Sonic has, for me at least, has been the characters and, like, the crazy things that happen. Tell me that you didn't play Sonic Adventure 2 for the first time and you played the last story and that wasn't insane. Like, that didn't blow your fucking mind, especially as a kid. Tell me that wasn't like, oh my god, this is like crazy, oh my god. When I was a kid, I didn't even realize there was a last story. I was having so much trouble playing the game. When I was a kid, I was just like, ah, oh, I'm just not good enough. And when me and my cousin finally, finally got to the end of that game, it was so cathartic. We, like, me and my cousin, and I'll probably tell this story a lot more in detail later on. Uh, but me and my cousin, Michael, we... Michael doesn't really play video games anymore, but when we were kids, he used to play Sonic with me. He got me super into, like, Sonic Adventure and stuff. And one time we were, we were over and we were playing Sonic Adventure 2 on our GameCube. And we were taking turns tossing the controller back and forth between each other. We beat one of the stories, and then it unlocked the last story of Sonic Adventure 2. Neither of us had any idea that that was a thing, or that was, like, a thing that existed. Uh, and so we booted it up, and we played through the last story by alternating. So every new character that showed up, we would pass the controller between e each other. We got through... We beat the Bio Lizard after like an entire night, and then we played the final mission of the game, Super Sonic and Super Shadow, by alternating the controller between uh, between the two of us uh, while switching between Sonic and Shadow. It was one of my favorite video game experiences of all time. I will always remember that night, especially when we finally beat the Bio Lizard as Super Sonic and Super Shadow, and we've like. We're freaking the fuck out. We're like, yeah, we fucking did it. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I still think about it. Whenever I think about Sonic, I always I always come back to that night. And I don't think that that moment would be nearly as special or cool if there wasn't like that story, that lore behind it. You know what I mean? And that's why I think Sonic means so much to me, especially these days. And to see Sonic Frontiers, oh, yeah. like, 
Dip back Salty, into it, you know. Here's money for scarring your eyes with that one Among Us tweet in relation to the Archie comic video. No problem. I forgot which one that was, but I thank you. But yeah, like I, that's what Sonic means to me, you know. I it, it it felt like this grand event. It didn't it didn't feel like a TV show. It didn't feel like a movie. It felt like I was in on this crazy universe with my cousin for that night, and it blew my mind. Dude, you just made me feel like a kid again. That's what yeah. Sonic makes me feel like. Hello, Sonic Mr. makes me Doctor, feel like a kid again. Long time fan, new Steam viewer. I'm not a huge Sonic lore nut, but I find the series and the out of context bits wildly entertaining. Can you please regale me with the story of the weirdest thing Shadow has done in the comics? Thanks, my goo. I'll get back to this donation in a second. We have a cutscene to activate first. Uh, however. I don't know that many weird things about Sonic, but I have a uh, about Shadow in the comics. But I have a really cool thing that I'll talk about in a second. Hmm. After the this cutscene. The reason we came here was because we detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here. Did you figure something out? I'm trying to put the pieces together. The Ancients' technology was built specifically oh, for yeah. the Chaos Emeralds and run I on love their power. and he is probably my fav Sonic <laughs> character. But I keep forgetting how horrifically evil some of the stuff he does is, even if you ignore the Archie comics, and he is low-key scary in some games. Also, opinion on the Sonic movies? I will get to this comment too, in just a second, All just after this cutscene. Island systems, even cyberspace, were in a kind of standby mode without the emeralds to power them. Once the power supply was restored though, someone would have had to boot up the systems and get them running. I think I can guess who. Oh, yeah. Okay. Would you rather have a new hedgehog introduced or have Shadow or Silver play a role in a new Sonic game? I I think okay, so I can I can talk about this stuff now. Uh I'll answer that one first. I think it would be really cool to have another hedgehog introduced, except for the fact that I think it's kinda overdone now. And a big issue is oh my god, we have one emerald left! Guys, we're almost done with oh my god. Okay, we're we're almost done with the island. Holy shit, I didn't even realize. Okay, but yeah, I I think I think having three main hedgehogs like Sonic, Shadow, Silver is like perfect. I don't think you really need to add any more. I think it'd be interesting. I think it'd be cool, but there'd have to be a good reason for it, you know. Um, but yeah, going back to those donations, uh, Shadow Fan Twenty Four. Hello, Mr. Dan, longtime fan, new stream viewer. I'm not a huge Sonic lore nut. But I find the series out of context bits weird, wildly entertaining. Can you please regale me with the story? The weirdest thing that Shadow has done in the comics. Thanks, my guy. I'll give you one recent example and one old example that's really cool. Um, so, basically, there's two different types of comics that I know about. The Archie series that is now over and... I'm just gonna jump. The Archie series that's over and the uh, IDW series, which is going on now and is currently pseudo canon with the games. I don't know how deep that goes, uh, but it seems like they're canon with the games now. Uh, if you want to hear something stupid Shadow has done during the Metal Virus arc, he threw himself amidst all of the zombies that can like turn you into like a brain dead creature by touching you. It was like, I'm the ultimate life form. There's no way I can turn. Guess what fucking happened? He got turned immediately. <laughs> like, instantly. You can't make this shit up. Gotta be one of my least favorite Shadow moments, I gotta say. I I know it, it, it sucks because Shadow... I gotta be honest, Shadow was written really well in the Archie comics. Like, I, I might joke about the Archie comics, but he was written really well in the Archie comics. Uh, in IDW, they're, they're under some certain mandates from Sega, which I think they might be loosening up, especially after Sonic Frontiers. Like, the way that they write this game is very interesting. It makes me think they're loosening up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, IDW Shadow uh, is kind of an idiot. Uh, he has some cool moments, but like those sorts of moments really dull his character for me. And I love Shadow. I'm a Shadow enjoyer. Uh, and I'll get into uh, the cool Archie's Shadow thing after this cutscene been studying this door while you were exploring the island. 
It sounded like it unlocked from the inside. Great. So, how do we open it? See that switch next to the door? I think it'll react to the cyber energy stored in your body. There's no telling what's on the other side. I think that this is the final boss fight of the island. Approach it whenever you're ready. I'm always ready. Yeah, by the way that they're they're talking about it, yeah, it's Okay, I'm not going to open this yet. I'm oh, okay, well I'm opening it, but I'm not going to do this yet. I'm going to find the elder cocos first or not or not or I'm just in. I thought it would let me go back. Um, okay. Well, I got to go back to those other donations once this is over. What the hell? Why is there a pinball machine inside of the volcano? Why did the ancients make this? This this is the th another thing I love about Sonic Lord. This shit is fucking goofy if you read into it too much. Oh, this is just I just have to play pinball. The ancients loved pinball, I guess. Oh, yeah. Since we are sharing childhood Sonic experiences, my first game was Unleashed. I saw the box arts and thought it looked cool, and that opening cutscene blew my mind. Also, the day stages were super fun, not to mention Dark Gear had a peak design. I'll be honest, I never fully finished Unleash. It's my one regret as a Sonic fan. I never played through Colors and I never finished Unleash. Those are like the two major games I missed out on. I know the story pretty well, especially because they ad adapted it in the Archie comics and I kind of like looked into it at the time. Um, but yeah, that's like the, the big one that I, I completely just did not play. And I call myself like a Sonic veteran, you know? But I guess while I'm playing this pinball thing, I can talk about Sonic and the Arch uh, Shadow in the Archie comics. Shadow has this amazing story in the Archie comics that I love to death. Uh, so I talked about it earlier, but when Sonic Archie was still running, they actually created a spin-off comic called Sonic Universe that they basically used. It ran alongside the main Archie comics, and they basically used it as an excuse to like tell stories about the grander Sonic universe. So a lot of Sonic uni universe just didn't focus on Sonic in the main cast. It always focused on like other characters, which I thought, you know, as a Sonic fan, yes, 100%. Um, and something interesting about Sonic universe is they actually started the comic with an interesting Shadow story, where basically Shadow is assigned by Gun to go hunt down E-102 Omega from Sonic Adventure. He's like, I don't know exactly why he has to hunt him down. I, I couldn't remember for the life of me. Uh, but I think he has to hunt him down and destroy him. Because apparently, I think E-102 Omega has like something inside of him that Eggman wants and he's trying to hunt him down. Uh, for whatever reason, he's still alive after the events of Sonic Adventure. There is a reason for it. I'm just blanking on it. It's been a while. Uh, and Shadow and E-102 Omega have this really interesting talk about, like, purpose and stuff like that. And it was so cool to see, like, those two characters interacting. And it was just, it was a really great Shadow story. I loved And it was such big fan service for me who loved Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And both of my favorite characters from that game are, are Shadow and E-102 Omega. So seeing them interact for the first time was so cool. I loved it so much. It was so awesome. E oh, E-102 Gamma. I'm sorry. Sorry. E Did I see E-102 Omega? That's my bad. I, I think you want to know why I said that is because in the E-102 Gamma and Shadow story, they actually introduce E-123 Omega to the comics for the first time. E-123 Omega is hunting down E-102 Gamma uh, to like destroy him just like Shadow is. Uh, and they use it like that's his introduction. It's a really cool arc. I, I'd check it out if you're interested. It's like the start of the Sonic Universe comics. I think it might even be the first issue. They're different? Yeah, no, no. E102, E102 Omega from Sonic Adventure is different, is a different character than E123 Omega. But they're in kind of like, they're, they're similar robots is the thing right 
effectively E123 Omega is kind of like almost a pseudo reboot of E102's character without having to like like bring him back or rewrite him. I guess at the time they were like, man, we liked E102 Omega, but or E102 Gamma, we liked him a lot, but we don't know how to bring him back. Oh, let's create a new robot that's kind of similar, but like we can give him some interesting new characteristics that would be like, like kind of different. There we go. That was, I did really good on that, I, I gotta say. Hopefully it'll give me a break so I can go upgrade my stats at the Elder Cucko. So it's pouring out all of the lava. It's that Titan from earlier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, After indeed. After finishing this game, you're gonna play Gal Ragnarok. Uh, I'm probably not gonna play God of War Ragnarok because I didn't play the the previous game that it's a sequel to. Whatever you did triggered an eruption, and the lava burned away the clouds. Maybe someday, just not right now. Something. Yeah, I destroyed that pinball mini game. Hey, I've seen my fair share of pinball machines. I know one when I see one. Oh, Those Shadow was recruiting really Gamma in Sonic noise. Universe. Okay, that's my bad. Sorry I mean, the about tech that. Here outpaces and is older than old. I guess the love of pinball predates civilization. Sonic, that Titan down there, do you really plan on fighting that? Even as Super Sonic, that thing is... Keeping you, Amy, and Knuckles trapped? So yeah, I'm gonna take it down. Sit tight, partner. I'll take out this last Titan and get everyone back to normal. Hey, please. Okay, cool, cool. I'm not gonna head to the crater yet. I'm going to mark it, but I'm not going to head to there yet. I think that was the creator, right? Yeah, I, it was the creator. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, or wait, is that the creator down there? Yeah, like in here. Yeah, don't head there yet. Where are the Elder Cucko? Where is the Elder Cucko? Cucko, where are you? Oh, there's a cutscene I missed. Okay, oh, all the way over there. Okay. Just want to make sure that I upgrade my stuff while I still have the chance. Because I don't know what the next island's going to look like. N no. 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 Uh. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. It's literally that way. I, I, I'm blind. God, it's so far away. Excellent game. Just warp over the I I don't actually think I have the warp yet. Because remember I I didn't get I didn't unlock the fishing spot so I couldn't get the warp. So I got to run over there. Which isn't that bad. I mean he's he's Sonic. It's what he does. He's running all the time. Um, I love Eggman. He's probably my favorite Sonic character, but I keep forgetting how horrifically evil some of the stuff that he does, even not even including the comics. I don't think I was supposed to do that, but that was awesome. When Sonic runs on the walls, like my, my, my monkey brain, it just like clicks in my monkey brain. I love it. Um, can you please regale me with the story of the weird, oh, uh, no, wait, that's Shadow. Uh... Uh, and he is low-key scary in some of the games. Also, opinion on the Sonic movies. I love the Sonic movies. Uh, I think, personally, Sonic Movie 2 is much better than Sonic Movie 1. However, I can also admit that the movies are like... Eh, like, they're, they're eh in some places, you know what I mean? They're definitely eh. However, they're much more fun than they are eh, so that's why I like them. And also, it seems like they're getting better with each release. Like, Sonic Movie 1 was like, oh, this is fun, but it's like kind of an okay movie. Uh, and then Sonic Movie 2, I was like, oh, this is so much better. Uh, 
I wish they did a couple more things, but like this is so much better. You know what I mean? I ran right past them. There we go. Okay, increase my speed. And yeah, no, the movies are really corny. Eggman fucking flosses. And honestly, strangely, I don't really like Jim Carrey that much as a person, but I gotta say, he, he shredded it in the role of Eggman. It's gonna be weird if Jim actually does end up retiring uh, and they can't use Eggman anymore. But I, I think I think that they should recast if he does end up retiring, like... You know what I mean? You don't like Jim Carrey? No, no, no. Let me, let me explain. I love Jim Carrey as an actor. He just kind of seems like an asshole. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I know, crazy. I haven't met Jim Carrey. But just, like, from the interviews and, like, that one documentary where he, like, method acted as a dead guy, he just kind of seems a little bit like an asshole. I don't wish him any ill will or anything. I just like, I don't know, it gives me weird vibes. However, uh, going back to the Sonic movies, Sonic Movie 2 is much better than the Sonic Movie 1. Uh, but I'll say in general, yeah, I really like the Sonic movies a lot. Uh, especially with like their, especially Sonic Movie 2, that seems like they're embracing the Sonic side of just the films a lot more and less of the film side. The one thing I want them to do is to maybe focus more on the Sonic characters and less on the human characters. God damn, did I only find one Elder Coco? What? Where's the other Coco? Well, I guess I can't upgrade my stats. Uh, I guess since we're going towards the crater, we might as well do that Sage cutscene. Apparently, apparently Elder, one of the, the, the Elder Cuckoos was next to where I freed Tails, but I don't know where that was. I've kind of lost that at this point. A lot of the map is still very much, uh, very much hard to see. But it's fine, we can, we can tackle the boss uh, with or without it. Uh... Since we're sharing uh, childhood Sonic experiences, my first game was Unleashed. I saw the box art and thought it looked cool, and that opening cutscene blew my mind. Also, the day stages are super fun, and not to mention Darkaya had peak design. Dude, again, I never, I never beat, I never, uh, I never beat Unleashed. However, I did play it, and that intro cutscene blew my mind as a kid. It blew my goddamn mind. I was like, that that has gotta be the best that Sonic has ever looked. That and Sonic 06, the, the cutscenes in Sonic 06, like really like high quality CG ones. Like, oh my god, dude. Come on. That was wild. I I still can't believe those cutscenes to this day. It looked like a Final Fantasy game. Kinda sucks that we haven't gotten cutscene quality like that like since Unleashed, but you know. I think maybe maybe colors had a cutscene like that or two, but I don't know. Actually, I think I think that Sonic Lost World had like a really high quality CGI cutscene at the beginning, right? I I think I remember that. Uh, but yeah, let me click on chat now that I uh now that I finally caught up on everything. Uh, he hunts down Gamma to recruit him, but 123 Omega was sent by Eggman to destroy Gamma, which he was successful, but Gamma gave Omega sentience, so he's recruited. Oh, yeah! Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about that. So, I mean, like, kind of spoilers for the story, but I mean, like, obviously, E-102 Omega, uh, E-102 Gamma, shit, I keep forgetting them. I keep mixing them up. Gamma ends up, obviously, like, dying, but his dying act is to download sentience into Omega, and that's what makes Omega a good guy in the comics. And apparently the way he does it is like, 
Gamma gives Omega like all of his memories. And then Omega also gains sentience. And he's like, oh, shit. Like, Eggman's a horrible person. I shouldn't be working for Eggman. Isn't that nuts? That is such a great way to like tie those two together in the comics. Fuck. Have you ever heard of the famous Sonic character Ian Jr.? Yes. I'm aware of Ian Jr. Coming up on the last Titan. Care to bet who'll be the winner this time? Recalculating. Your odds of victory have improved from impossible to highly improbable. Those are just the kind of odds I like to beat. So these were built by the ancients too, right? They're pretty powerful enemies. Did they manage to defeat the ancients' enemies? I can only hope their next victim is you. Savage! Oh my god! Damn, Sage! Hot damn! I guess we just dive in, right? Yeah, I'm gonna save first. I can't believe I already have 13 hours on this game. This feels like when Elden Ring first came out. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump in. There we go. I'm ready for oh, yeah. the for the music. Do the Sonic comics get as dark as Berserk? Um, from my experience with both, no. So wait, avoid the spikes and get to the next head. Ah! ah um, oh no! Oh, I see what I have to do. God, these Titans are cool. Peak Sonic design. Oh my God. Get the Chaos Emerald. Let's go. Here it is. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, I'm turning it up on my end. Holy shit. Oh my god, his name is Knight. Parried him. Oh, damn. Oh, here comes the blades. Here comes the blades. Deflected. Let's go. He's riding it. Oh, my God. Wait, was there an infinite reference in the lyrics? I couldn't even hear the lyrics. There we go. Oh my god, this is so satisfying to pull off. Oh, I didn't parry. Fuck. I always forget to parry. Oh, fuck. Parry, god. Skill issue, but banger. <laughs> Same chat. Yeah, parry, the check this out. Parry. Yeah, throw, throw it again. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Thank you for getting giving me a second one. <laughs> oh, 
Wait, is this the singer from the Infinite song? No way. I got hit him. Got hit him. Jeez. Hit him. Nice. I can't believe it's the same guy. Wow. Oh, I can launch it. I didn't know I could launch it. I had no idea I could launch it. Now that I know I can launch it, I'm, I'm going to do that. Oh my god, I'm just gonna ditch it. Parried. Oh, it's got the stupid fucking shield again. How many times am I gonna have to do this? Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh. Uh, I don't think that, I think, I don't think I can shoot it actually. I can just ditch it. Which I don't want to do. There we go. I'm doing another one. Can I dodge these? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. I would ditch it, but it, it gives me like a really good way to like mash on him. Knights that are left-handed are rare to see. Ooh, interesting little detail. I didn't even catch that. Yeah, shoot lasers. It's awesome. Yes! Oh my god. This is like peak. I can't focus my camera on him. He's too fast. Why can't I- oh, hold on. Stop fucking going around! What are you doing? I'm trying to side loop him because I literally- What is happening? Parry the shield? Oh, that is so smart. Oh, and then I can aim it. Oh, that's sick. I didn't even think of that. Oh, I thought I parried. Fuck. I suck at parrying. Holy shit. I say that it's broken, but then I, I don't even fucking use it. Okay, hold on. Here we go. What is happening? What? What was that? Parried. Woo. Oh, I, <laughs> I was too busy bragging about parrying that I didn't do it a second time. Okay, here we go. God, this guy's design is insane. Jeez, dude. Damn, Sonic. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's do it.
Ooh, the side loop. What does that do? No way. Is he gonna wield the sword? Oh my... You're joking. You're joking, dude. <laughs> oh my god! It's a freaking anime thing! What? Dude, come on! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is... No, 100%. That is peak. Sorry, I was interrupting lore by saying it was peak. When Sonic is an anime, it is the coolest and awesome, like most awesome thing. I almost called it the awesomest. What, I'm not even gonna say goodbye to Tails? Dang, I cannot wait to go 100% these islands. Okay, lore time. Let's go. What's happening? Me when... When you... Me, me when your mom. Oh, hi, Tails. The final lock has been revealed. Silence the six towers. Tear down the walls between dimensions. This voice oh, is definitely the, the actual villain. I thought you were going to say there was a surprise, Titan. There 100% is. Hang tight, partner. We're almost through this. Be careful. Careful? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Man's is exhausted. Oh my god, look at his idol. Okay, we are now at the fourth island of the game. I hear that this one's a bit shorter, so I'll keep playing for a little bit because I want to explore at least a little bit. Oh no, I wanted to zoom in. Hold on. Oh yeah! You considering listening to one OK Rocks songs? The band that helped with this game's music, I recommend stuck in the middle suddenly and memories. Oh, thanks. I actually was uh, considering, like, uh, doing that. Dude is exhausted. Look at him. Dude has had enough. It's been a long day for Sonic. Thank you so much, Options Menu, for giving me actual options. How big is this place? Oh, I already I already have like all of the all of the map unlocked. It seems pretty big, but like not like it doesn't seem like there's anything to do. I have to climb each of the towers. You have to tear down the 5G towers, Sonic. Big, what the fuck are you doing here? Big, my man. Go home. Um, hmm. Hold on a sec. Can I, like... That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Wrong tower, my guy? What do you mean wrong tower? Oh, yeah, wrong tower. Why did they let me climb it then?
I could use that uh, infinite boost right now. God, this game has been a blast. I know I keep saying it. I know it's probably annoying, but I'm having a blast with this game. Egg Taddy wants milky wilky mwam wa yummy oo yum yum in the tum tum. Hey Chrissy! Did you enjoy uh did you enjoy wasting like ten dollars to say that? Hope you did. I'm gonna buy a sandwich with that. I just real I, I keep forgetting you can do this. You can homing attack from the, the ground. Within two days of its release, and it took me twenty hours. I'm now oh. playing it again to one hundred percent it. My advice for 100% is to complete all map puzzles and then go to cyberspace. BC it unlocks fast travel for the portals. Uh, that, that is a good idea. I actually was thinking about doing that. Especially because you can do big stuff and you can get a... Uh, you can get fast travel for the Coco Elders too. God damn, this is a tall tower. I gotta climb up six of these? Damn. It's still going? Whoa! Yeah, this music's actually really good. How big is this thing? How far does it go up? I don't even want to boost. I'm afraid I'm going to fall all the way down. Damn, man. Oh. I didn't shut down the tower. I didn't shut down the tower. Oh, thank God I went back. Oh my God. That would have been so funny. I love this music. This is really tense. We got a cutscene for shutting down a tower. Here's fun, you guys. You drain, it is that way. Also, you can farm skill points in the first island by doing tricks on a spring in the first island. Are we going to get like a little mini cutscene of the ancients every for every tower we shut down? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Honestly, there might not be that much to do on this island, but damn, does this like does this like fit as like a final like area right before like the the final showdown type thing? Oh, oh thank you. Thank you, amazing brain power. I keep trying to like speed run and it's just not a good idea. Yeah, this is really stressful. If you like fall down, you're all the way at the beginning again. I do like that there are actual shortcuts to getting up the towers a little bit. Like you can make some like cool platforming decisions. Oh. This is killing me, man. Oh, it's so cool. Look how high up we are. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, man. Oh. 
God, if this was in VR, like my heart would be racing right now. I have like such a bad fear of heights. Oh. She willikers. Oh. Damn, this is high. You're sweating right now? What, what do you think I'm doing? How much are you going to play uh, tonight? I'm just going to shut down these six towers because why not? It seems pretty simple. Oh, dang, what's happening? Wait, they are. Wait. No way, the ancients are aliens? So. So, like. Chaos is technically an alien? I mean, it makes sense. They look like aliens. They were all coming inside of that spaceship. Your cyber corruption is accelerating. How can you smile when you can barely stand? Sonic is becoming Sonic.exe. Oh, his good heart is, like, counteracting the corruption, probably. Or maybe, like, his magical speed. I still need more information about what exactly Sage is. Like, did the technology of the island, like, give her a body? Oh, what's what's happening? Why why? Oh, it's it's just a meteor shower. Okay, I I was confused. I don't want to do this right now. <laughs> Hold on. Where are the rest of the towers? Get out of my face. Well, I might as well get some on the way, you know. Thirty cocos. Look, look how many big uh, fishing tokens I have. Look at that. Uh, I really hope the meteor shower stops soon because I kind of need my full field of view to be able to do this properly. See, it's like in my way now. It's, it's such a weird event. Yeah, I, I, I do think it's a weird event. I think that they should turn the event off when it's on this island specifically. Because this is like a really big part of the game, right? Like this is like... Uh, like this is a big deal. <laughs> I mean, canonically, I guess it makes sense why the meteor shadows would exist on this island, too, but it's just it's just a weird thing to happen at this point. Why am I not clinging to the wall? There we go. There we go. Oh, there it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God. Probably just stick to the wall. I don't need to zoom up it. There we go. Yes, take me to the top, please. Now, 
Very cool, like, very cool area, actually. I like climbing up these towers. It's kind of fun. The mood is definitely right for it, too. Remember when I thought the really small towers were the ones I needed to climb up? Sorry, uh, ugh. Um. Okay. Okay, thank you. It's kind of an annoying to have that on the screen the whole time. Ooh, I thought I didn't cling to that. Oh. I don't even know how close I am to the top of this thing. There we go. Ooh. I mean, hey, I guess, I guess these towers are having their intended gameplay effect. I'm, like, I'm clenching my butt cheeks right now. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? Oh my god. The one and only time I'm happy that I'm, uh, that I'm in a 2D section. You good? It's, it's, it's a, this is stressful. I don't want to fall. Okay. This feels like there's so much more at stake than just losing a life. Yeah, if you fall, if you fall down all the way, stuck at the bottom. You gotta go all the way back up again. Please be all the way up, please. Please, take me. Okay. Oh, cutscene? Cutscene? Okay, so the chaos- the ancients- I shouldn't say chaos beings. The ancients are... The ancients are aliens that came from another planet that got destroyed. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my, okay, wait, no. So, not only are the ancients aliens, but they had the chaos, they, the chaos emeralds are alien too. The master emerald, which is that, the Master Emerald is from Earth. The Chaos Emeralds are from the Ancients homeworld. Freaking Chaos Emerald lore. The first time we've gotten lore about the Chaos Emeralds in like ages. Oh my gosh. Look at this shot. This is awesome. Sonic Unleashed no longer canon? What do you mean no longer canon? They literally talked about Sonic Unleashed, like, in this game, like a little bit ago. What are you talking about? None, none of this contradicts anything that happens in Unleash, I don't think. Because the Chaos Emeralds are from... Initially, they're from the Ancients' original planet. But then they came to this planet, and they probably, like... 
Oh, I haven't fought one of these guys in a bit. Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna have to fight a lot of, like, enemies on this one. I'm gonna cry. The Gaia Temples, maybe? Well, the Gaia Temples, can't they still be canon? Because the Ancients, like, the Ancients are very old. Like, ancient, ancient. There's a way that those can coexist. The Emeralds can restore the planet. Well, yeah, that's just because they're powerful. It doesn't mean that they're intrinsic to the planet. What is this thing? Huh? How do we get out? Oh my god. I've never seen that thing before. Huh? That almost killed me. Oh, yep. This is the combat one. I love combat. I love combat. I especially love doing it super high up where I can fall at any moment. Oh my god. I do, I do gotta say, I like how all of these towers have their own gimmicks. Like, the last tower was side-scroller, and like, uh... Side-scrolling and climbing. And this one is platforming and, uh, fighting enemies. Do you think that the besides the emeralds we know, there's others around the universe? I wouldn't be shocked. I think, like, if, if we're going, like, extraterrestrial now, there could be a whole slew of different, like, emeralds or, like, powerful artifacts in the universe. Oh my... Oh no! It wouldn't lock on. It would not lock on. That is bullshit. That, no, that's actually, I'm going to call bullshit on that. It wouldn't lock on. I try, I was trying to turn the camera to face the right one. It wouldn't lock on. That was horseshit. Classic Sonic jank. My God. Thank you. Jesus. I'm just going to jump into it. There we go. Oh, my nerves are so shot going up these. Oh, I should have gotten that. Whoops. Well, at least it wasn't all the way down. Yeah, I, I recovered. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game developers. Thank you for not doing the entire tower. Oof. You should level up your speed. Yeah, I really should. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've uh, properly leveled some stuff up. Should go back to the older islands. Okay. Trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. Oh, it followed us. The thing that destroyed their planet. that nobody uh, gets into the files of this game and extracts these grunting noises from Sonic. Nobody do that, please. This is a serious scene.
100% though, like no meme, this is, this is awesome. This, this whole thing is really cool. I'm trying to, I'm trying to press select. Hold on. There we go. Uh, what are the last towers? Okay, so there's one here and one there. Okay, got it. Sonic, you gotta take down those towers! Out of context, that's very interesting. Oh, there's a ramp. Thank God. I thought it was stuck in here. <laughs> There we go. That is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. Mr. Mr. President? Uh, yes. Uh, how's it going? Uh, what, what's going on? Sonic has taken out five of the towers. Excuse me. I have to go. Hey Salty, I've been wondering since Sonic references plays in this game, does that mean Sonic Rush or Sonic 06 is canon? We still... it's... Sonic 06 is iffy. Um, I think right now, Sonic 06 is both canon and not canon, because at the end of the game, everybody's memories are pretty much erased, and the events of Sonic 06 don't happen anymore. However, the events of the future with Silver and Blaze do happen. It's it's kind of unclear. That was around the time when like Sonic Cannon was getting really weird. They introduced Silver in two separate games and they introduced Blaze in two different games. Silver had the same origin in both of the games he was introduced in, 06 and uh, Rivals or yeah, Rivals for the PSP and uh, Rivals 2. However, Blaze had two different origin stories. My headcanon is that 06 is, in fact, actually canon. Uh, however, Blaze is from the future, like, is from the future with Silver initially, but when she absorbed Iblis, uh, it transferred her to a different dimension, and her memory still got erased like everybody else. And, like, she became, like, the queen of that dimension, basically. That That's my headcanon. At least that's the logic I go with, too. It, it makes the most sense. It's a little bit jank, but, like, you can kind of work with it because Blaze didn't really, like, meet Sonic or anything, I don't think. And it, it makes the most sense. Because, like, otherwise, it's just, like, I... Then that means that, like, rivals... Uh, and Rivals 2 aren't canon. But then again, that also opens up kind of a can of worms because, uh, Eggman, uh, Eggman, Eggman, nah, ga. Okay, cool, I'm safe. Uh, Eggman, N E G A. <laughs> uh, he, he was introduced in both Rush and Rivals. Uh, and in Rush, he's from an alternate, he's like an alternate dimension Eggman. Uh, and in Rivals, he's Unrelated, Eggman from the future. But have you seen the scenes of Sonic games in Breaking Bad? Uh, yes, I actually have. I actually have. I haven't watched Breaking Bad in full yet, but I actually have. But yeah, Eggman, we'll call him Eggman negative, just so that nobody can uh, toy with my audio. Uh, Eggman negative uh, in Rivals is from the future, like Silver, uh, and Eggman negative in Rush is from an alternate dimension. However, my headcanon with that... I'm gonna be honest, I had an actual explanation, but I fucking forgot it. Um... <laughs> I think... I think... Eggman negative in Rivals is revealed to be Eggman's descendant from the future. Uh, I don't know why he's called Eggman negative in that case, but whatever. Uh, and I think that it's canon that he's from the future, but he's so smart 
that like he was also able to like travel around dimensions to like find ways of like conquering the universe or something like that. So that is my headcanon for him too. That I think helps fit him in with everything. Also, hey Squid, we were actually talking about you before. I, I was linking your TikTok because it was just relevant. We were talking about Sonic lore and I was like, hey, you guys want to go to a place with Sonic lore? Follow Squid. Okay, so were the Titans created to like fight? Oh my God, that makes so much sense. Chaos Gem Jiraiya Garukin Kwaiin Debut Hurain Tai Indo Blue Dwayne Sreikts by Chaos Toyu Zain Shuai Sten Okay Oa Shudu Minga Jure Chaos Gem So wait, they called them Chaos Gems? I mean, honestly, that makes more sense than Chaos Emerald. They're not emeralds. <laughs> They're not. God, I love the lore. And yeah, no problem, Squid. You, you helped enable me to talk more about Sonic lore, so it's the least I can do. Last tower, guys. Last tower. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Getting cheeky. Oh! Oh! Oh, hmm. God, this this part sucks. Oh my god. Jesus, what do they want me to do there? The controls are so whack. Let me guess. This tower like has everything now. I have to Oh yeah, I have to deal with enemies. I have to deal with climbing. There's going to be like a 2D section coming up that's going to suck. I mean, hey, I'm always up for a good challenge, I guess. <laughs> the first message that I saw that somebody said, they were just like, cope. Hey, fun fact, did you know that uh, letters, there are letters in the first Sonic game in one of the zones that just spell cope? And I have no idea why it spells cope. I don't think it's ever been explained why the letters spell cope in Sonic 1. Oh, hi, Transfem Salty. Your comment scared the shit out of me on TikTok the other day. <laughs> Just letting you know. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Hey Salty, glad you're enjoying the game, I just beat it myself. Quick question though, I'd okay. like to use one animation you did for your ghost trick VOD, the silly dance. I wanna use it for a stream of friend as a gag, would you be cool with that? Totally dude, totally yeah, you can use it. I actually forgot about that video, thank you for reminding me, I, I need to get back to ghost trick one of these days. Anyway, 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 lore, lore. Thank you for asking, by the way. Like, but that's totally chill. You can use it. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is the stuff that we were oh, looking at. Oh, they're piloting them.
killed. Holy shit, one of the ancients uses they them pronouns. <laughs> like that's the thing that I focus on. Diversity win. One of the ancients uses they them pronouns. They're also dead. <laughs> They were mechs the whole time. Eggman's here. That is so creepy. Like, he, he's like not even like on the floor. He's just like frozen. He's like, oh. Oh, great. We did. We did Raya Island. OK, cool. Cool guy. It, it's OK, guys. Sonic may be dead, but we did capture Raya Island. Stop moaning, please. That's just how I talk sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, oh. Sonic, no. I'm just playing a Sonic game and I'm like, oh. What happened to him? Oh. Yeah. He took on so much cyber energy, it corrupted him. Meaning? He's stuck between realities. Don't do cyber energy, kids. <laughs> One hell of a drug. My only regret is you denied me the pleasure of finishing you off, rodent. We must get you back into cyberspace immediately. I just got out. That was the whole point. <laughs> I ran millions of simulations. I love Eggman. I can keep you alive is if you're not here when it gets out. When oh, what gets it... out? Oh. <sighs> what? What is that? Who is that? Oh wait, is it like the possessed titan? Since time immemorial. I knew it! Here. I knew the fucking the, the lady, broken. the disembodied voice! Now I shall It's the corrupted the ancient between dimension and consume all. No, oh, no, you don't. I'll mobilize the egg fleet and blow you out of the sky. It won't be enough. It triumphed over the ancient's technology. My simulations show a success rate of zero percent. Oh, Tails is pissed. No. Sonic worked too hard for us to give up now. Those visions we saw, we can drive back the corruption and bring him back. Anything for Sonic. Whatever it takes. Dude, holy shit. He's going Super Saiyan, God Super Saiyan. Sonic, I want you to see the hero I become. Sonic, you still have love to share with this world, too. Sonic, we're even after this. <laughs> Listen, I know it's corny as hell to beat, to beat this with friendship. But God, is it just the right amount of corny for this very moment? Everyone, thank you. Ooh, lay motif, lay motif. Did you hear it? Down. Did you hear it? The main theme of the game. Do this nightmare. Oh, good. He's back. So this is our chance. I never simulated a scenario where Sonic helped since you never authorized it. I still don't want to. Please. Oh my gosh, the, this is going to be like the first person that Eggman ever listens to. <clears throat> Sonic, 
hereby induct you into the Eggman Empire and order you to save us all. <laughs> this is not an alliance. If that's how you want to spin it, Dr. Ego Man. Mm. Better than Baldy McNose hair. will help me find the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic won't be fast enough. Hey, wow. As you command. Let's go. Absolute burn. All right. Oh my God. This is getting so good. Oh. Okay. So this is the final island. I assume. Okay. So we're, we're going to end it off here. Just because like, I, I feel like this is going to be really good for like a final stream because I think there's a lot to do on this island. But oh my God. God, so much happened in that last island. Like the last island was very short, but it had so much like story and lore that I don't even mind it. I, I thought that there was going to be like five full islands to explore, each with unique themes. But this is OK, too. I, I, I understand I, it's this is already like quad over quadruple as long as Sonic Forces was. So I'm thriving. Uh. Let's uh let's boot up fan art, shall we? Let's uh let's start to cool down the stream. How are you guys liking the game so far? I'm I'm loving this. Like I have not thrived this hard on Sonic content in so long. Like specifically the games. Uh it's just it feels so good. Also, I ended up streaming four hours, so whoops. That that's how you know that this game is good. Is that I say that I'm only gonna stream for like Two or three hours. But I end up streaming for four or five anyway. It happens. Listen, you know what? I had a fun time. I, I'll admit it. I had a really fun time. So you know what? That's totally I'm OK with that. Um, But yeah, let's uh, let's start getting the fan art. Uh, Here, let me pull it up. For. Yeah, oh my god, guys, this game is so good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to finish this. Like, there's still some stuff, like, I can't wait to, like, tie up all the loose ends by the end. Uh, not that there's many loose ends. I just, like... I want to know if there's any more lore with Sage. I doubt that there is. I think we kind of know everything now. I think, like, her interacting with cyberspace gave her, like, a physical form. I'm just worried something bad's going to happen to Sage. And thankfully, I haven't been spoiled on that yet, but uh, that would suck if that happened. I would cry. Cry in real life. Especially because it, 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 Sage has gotten Eggman so much development. I did not realize. I thought that Eggman was not even going to be in this game for a while. I thought that Eggman was like. Like, I remember when this game was first being showed off. I just thought Eggman wasn't going to be in it. I just thought he wasn't going to be important, not going to be in it. Oh, sorry. I 100% thought like, oh, yeah, we're not going to be seeing Eggman. Um, you know, that sucks, but it's good to see like another villain like Sage. But I did not expect this to be so like Eggman focused. And like Egg Dad, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, wait, let me uh put on some like lo-fi. Oh let, let me see if I can put like a sonic soundtrack on instead. I, I kinda wanna do that. Uh chill sonic OST. I'm in a sonic mood. That's not really chill, but okay. Alright. Oh, this is this is vibes. Okay. What what game is this from? Oh, it's oh it's from Sonic Colors. That's why I don't recognize it. Like I said, I haven't really played Sonic Colors, so. All right. As Salty fell from grace, having missed the jump from the one platform to another, his final words were, "It didn't lock on." Sonic Grunt.mp3. 
That, that, you made that quick, too. Decided to make a pixel art boysona. It's definitely not a horrifying monster mimicking a boysona. Genuine question, which one do you think looks better? Uh, let me see. I see what you're trying to do with the, the line art color, and I think it's a cool idea. But I definitely think this one... This one's a lot easier for my eyes to, like, read, I think. I'm sure that there's actually a better way of doing colored outlines, but... I definitely think- I think the black one for, uh, the pixel art work, works really well. That's cool, dude! <laughs> okay, sorry, last salty, based off of Germa photo. Any sort of Germa reference I'll gladly take, I love Germa. Love this. Salty says... I'm gonna retweet this. Uh, if anybody's an asshole to you, I will block them in instantly. So don't worry. Uh, all hail Jimmy Hockey, son of the funny white boy, iconic character and trans icon. I, I saw people saying like Jimmy Hockey was a trans icon in chat earlier. I don't know how that started. I didn't start that. I'm fine with him being one, but where did that start? really like this found your channel recently and has killed me on multiple occasions the mario and sonic generations video is fucking incredible so i drew this wholesome salty plus mario interaction <laughs> i'm retreating this instantly the, the facial expressions get me i love mario oh <laughs> let's, let's go <laughs> this is great this face in particular is giving me, like, Junji Ito vibes. This is very good, very rushed and sloppy and bad art, but they became best friends again. God damn it. I can literally talk Sonic lore with you for hours. Now that we got the reveal, the ancients look like chaos. Do you think he's still a mutated Jao? Maybe he's an ancient who absorbed a Jao instead of a Coco? Yeah, that... That's a good point. That that was something I was actually thinking about. Because it, it's clear that the Ancients are, like, the origins of Chaos, right? However, we know that the Ancients have Cocos inside of them as souls, but Chaos has, like, a brain. Now, I don't know if this is going to be wrapped up at the end of the game where they'll explain it, but I was really looking forward to, like, knowing about that because I, I don't know what the deal is with Chaos having a brain instead of a Coco. Unless, like, the Coco became a brain, I'm not really sure. I'm not entirely sure on that. But if there's anything to go off of in the Knuckles animation pro prologue, which I didn't watch on stream, but I hope you guys probably checked out, uh, Tikal is referenced and the Echidnas, they're all referenced uh, with the Master Emerald, like, flashback. So I'm hoping that by the end of the game, we'll know definitively what is up with Chaos. Uh, that, or maybe they can clarify it in the IDW comics later, or maybe Ian Flynn can like clarify on Twitter, but I'd like for it to be explained in the game, uh, or at least referenced in some way, uh, because it's very interesting. Look at the egg memos. I already got all the egg memos. Like, I, I listened to all of them, I think. Because I, I think they bring it up in the egg memos, but like, Chaos are Chow. Oh, okay. Somebody just said in the chat, and I like this comment a lot. Chow, Chow are descended from the ancients. That is their theory. I like that theory a lot, and I think it would make sense. However, wait. Oh my God. What if Chaos is the missing link? So, okay. Originally, the lore was that Chaos was a mutated Chow, right? But what if it's the reverse? What if the Ancients... The Chows are the descendants of Ancients. Uh, and then Chaos is the in-between of that, right? So, like, they almost evolved into Chow. That's what I'm saying! That's what I'm saying! Oh my god! The music switching up for the explanation killed me, yeah. <laughs> So, okay, that's what I'm going with for now. I think the Ancients evolved or, like, changed into the Chow over generations. Uh, and I think that Chaos is, like, the last, like, missing link between them. 
and that's why he kind of looks a little bit different. He's a little bit shorter. He's got like a brain on the inside. I I don't know the significance of the brain. I keep going back to the brain. I'm like, why is the, why does he have a brain instead of a cocoa? Uh, I'm not sure. That also also this is this is crazy. This is crazy. Uh, they're not. They wouldn't be direct descendants. Uh, however, if you think back to the knuckles, the, the knuckles thing, the knuckles short. Uh, a Chow, not only are Chow heavily featured in the Knuckles short, but one of the Chow picks up, like, a mask of a Coco in the trailer. That was significant, and I kept thinking about it. I was like, why did he pick up the mask? Unless, like, maybe it reminded him of something? Like, maybe, like, there was, like, an intrinsic thing with Chow. Like, whatever. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know some of y'all are like, please talk about Sonic lore for hours. And it's like, no, I, I got to move on. Uh, we'll talk more in the last stream. 100%. I wish the game theory made a theory on this, please. I'd watch it. What get Matt Pat. It will get 30 billion, 30 billion views. If you make Sonic lore theories, if you want to, if you want to see some good lore theories, check out Chow Mix's channel, uh, Chow Mix. He makes amazing Sonic videos. I love his stuff. He's done a couple like cool, like little theory videos. They're so cool. Uh, and I just like the way that he talks and writes his scripts. I'm going to have to go now, but thank you so much for another great stream. Salty. Uh, see all you guys for the final stream. Hey, thanks. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I definitely think the lat the next stream will be like the last Sonic Frontier stream that or it'll be there'll be two more because I don't know how big the last island is. But yeah, check out Chow Mix's channel. It's Chow and Mix. No spaces. Chow like as in the Chow and Sonic and Mix as in mixing things together. If you like Sonic stuff, Chow Mix is great. Uh, but yeah. Good art, Lime. Friendlock stuff. Also, stay tuned. Next couple of days, there might be a Friendlock related announcement dropping. Uh, maybe, maybe. Ooh. -hoo. I'll never tell. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, Rouge music, this slaps. I rejoined Twitter for this. Also, this is my first time making art for a content creator. I hope you like it. Ooh, I popped your cherry. That was gross. I'm never gonna say that again, actually. Uh, sorry about that. Good good art, though. Uh, he couldn't wa hey, couldn't watch the stream tonight, but to make up for it, and also the fan art for yesterday's stream, uh, I, I took... <laughs> Guys, please. I I didn't mean to make it sound so gross. I took my time to make this piece. Thanks for the videos. Thanks, Matt. Yo, dope. Immediate retweet for Trevor content. He's quite literally too powerful for cyberspace. I am... Actually, I saw this in the comments earlier. People were making Trevor jokes. I don't think I made a single Trevor joke this entire playthrough. I've been enjoying the game so much that I did not feel the urge to just, like, make stupid tre Trevor jokes. I was just like, oh, let's talk about Sonic Lord, you know? Oh, I love the style on this. Whoa. I love the line art. Uh, funny salt man should eat a Baconator live on stream for his face reveal. Oh my God, this is awesome. I love the style and vibes of this. This is like awesome. And like the shading on the, oh my God. Dude, nice stuff. Is it really worth? Are you insinuating that brownies are just chunks of my hair? Ooh, I love this. I feel bad for the shitty comic book I edited last time, so have some salty and crunchy salty pixel profile pics. Uh, I, because I can, both in edited and original colors. Oh, this is fun. I like the crunchy versions a lot. Crunchy just works in pixel art. I just, I, I don't think I'm ever going to draw Crunchy Salty without like the, the flip note pixel art type vibe. Honestly, I'm, you know, scratch that. I might, I don't know if Crunchy Salty is ever going to like replace like my normal channel avatar, but I love drawing him for like stuff. I feel like he's weirdly expressive and cute. Uh, me too, Salt, me too. <laughs> yes. I am so glad that for these streams, I've attracted such a large audience of fellow Sonic fans who will just gush with me about Sonic lore for hours. 
Thank you. So the DK Art RT. So this is me going super. Uh, and this is Jimmy Hockey. And his hockey helmet has the word come on it for some reason. Did I make a come joke with Jimmy Hockey? I probably did. Knowing me, most likely. Oh, 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 there, there's an animation in this one. Holy crap. Wait, hold on. I want to I want to hear it. Uh, hi, Salt Man. I did a funny animation and here's some other shit there, too. I uh, hope you like it. And uh, and those some more stuff. And there's some more stuff in the comments and also Garfeldi. Am I right? Anywho, if you're about to send that fucking Moe head again, I swear to God. <coughs> No, this is the this is the Discord group chat a lot. I'm very annoying on Discord. Kind of like in real life. Kind of like just what I normally am like. It's kind of rare that you see like a a salty animation stuff, so I I really appreciate this. This is cool. Have to click that. Ooh, yeah. I I showed these off on the stream last night, but these are the. Uh, Updated designs for like uh, the boy sonas for like have you heard about uh, I'm probably gonna redraw mine a little bit. I I had trouble Updating my design. I was originally gonna okay, so I think I've, I've sent this I've shown this on Twitter before at some point. I, I don't have it anymore It's on Twitter somewhere, but I was gonna update the salty design to give myself a sweatshirt with really long sleeves I was gonna do that, and I was thinking about it, but then when I was updating designs, uh, Pasty wanted, like, a full-on sweatshirt. And having two character designs, uh, on the channel that both have sweatshirts was a little bit much. Yeah, I was- yeah, why am I naked? Yeah, I- I was going to give myself, like, a long sleeve sweatshirt. I still might do it in the future, but, uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. I've been brainstorming ways to change my character design a little bit, just to tweak it. Um... Yeah, what about a v-neck uh, a v-neck i don't know uh, i'm actually you know it's kind of funny you mentioned that i'm wearing a v-neck right now i actually looked down when i said i'm wearing a v-neck right now uh i am wearing a v-neck uh so i mean it would be accurate but i don't know v-necks i was a, you know what i was gonna say i was gonna say no v-necks give off like fuck boy energy and then i looked down and i was wearing a v-neck uh and i was uh oh, mm. Um, oh my god, so whoever suggested the Vans thing, I love character designs with like over like overly designed shoes that are too big for the character. That is like, that's like crack to me whenever a character has that. So, I mean, maybe. That's why I like soap shoes so much on Sonic. You know, like the soap shoes are so like overly designed, it's kind of fun. Uh, and then some nice friend lock art. Yeah, this person did a lot of art. They said there was more in the comments, too, right? Oh, no, this was also retweeted. We just saw that. And this is also a video. I guess what my favorite color is. He likes pink, and pink says Daisy likes purple. I like purple, too, but I, my favorite color, guess what mine is? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Wait. Guess what my favorite color is? Uh, is it green? <laughs> Yippee, I like <laughs> I love the end. Yippee, I, love <laughs> I I have I've I've been hearing that Luigi that Luigi sound is going it's making the rounds on TikTok. Trevor, I'm sorry sorry if these are are aren't that good. I had a bad art crisis recently, but your streams made me happy and I had tons of fun doodling alongside them. Thank you, Salt Man. 100%. I can already say these are not bad. Is not bad at all. They're actually insanely good. I especially love the perspective on this one. I know we can all sometimes get really down on like our art styles and stuff like me, especially, you know, like I don't draw as nearly as much as I used to, but I can still get pretty down on myself uh, whenever I pick it back up. But I got to say, these are not bad at all. You should not be shitting on yourself whatsoever. And I love the poses. Bro, you, look at this freaking, look at this sage pose right here. You're telling me that this is bad? Shut up. Your art's good. <laughs> Get out of here. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. 
I love the. Uh, you know what? I'm giving a retweet to this. That's how much I like them. My dad's pretty cool. My dad's pretty cool too. I meant to read these. And they're playing fire trucks. Based. My friend doesn't have a Twitter, so I'm posting this for them. They asked me to. Yo, shout out to your friend. This is cute AF. Can't believe I just said AF. I feel like a prick after saying that. Who says AF out loud? Well, I'm sure plenty of people, but not me. I felt weird. That felt weird. Oh, this guy's like, okay, this one's dancing to the beat. Okay, what's the next song to, it, for it to dance to? What's the next song? This is perfect music for this dance. That worked out perfectly for this art. Conveniently fitting. Oh, this is the one from last night, too. I think we're getting into some of the ones from last night that I didn't see on last stream, but... Don't, don't be gaming! What's going on, guys? Me, Dobby! Is that how I used to sound in that in that video? Don't be gaming! It do be squatting! Whoa! Speaking of stuff I really like, and I got the soap sh the overly designed soap shoes. Oh! 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 Yo! Oh! Dobby gives this art a thumbs up. Dobby loves this. Thanks, Dobby. I uh, smacked the back of his head and his, his uh, neck snapped and he, he's dead on the ground. The, the super realistic pencil drawing of Sodium Donkey Kong Daniel complained about not having boots. Also, somehow the hair became sentient. You made my hair a dick and balls. It's just a dick and balls. Salty says trans rights for forever and always. That's a retweet. And it's cute art too. This, okay. Again, I hate doing this because whenever my art gets compared to something, I always go like, I roll my eyes. I'm just like, okay, yeah, ha ha ha. Um, but this art gives me such pleasant vibes. I love like the sketchy, like coloring quality of it. It, it feels to me like this would, this would be something that would be like in like a picture book of just like really like nice, like cute little images. Like just cute little images of like little animals or dudes hanging out that all look like this and have like the cute little like coloring and stuff. It's adorable. I love it. It's like the sort of thing that you see like TikTok slideshows of like a bunch of like monkeys that are like drawn like really cutely just hanging out. I wouldn't, won't be able to save for the full stream, but I figured I'd get this done early. Enjoy! Likes. Here's some salty art I never posted. Not gonna lie, I'm proud of this. Good shit. I do this in real life. Oh, here's Gerber. We were promised by Salty Says Fuck uh, that there's gonna be more, gonna be more Sonic-ified boys. Why did I make this? Is it because I didn't take my meds? Anyways, salty slug. It's a like. Ooh, also made a little pixel art white boy. Oh, there's a lot of art tonight. I wasn't expecting this. Nice stuff. <laughs> I like to draw while watching your Frontiers playthrough. So I was laughing at this one. What am I doing? Am I in just pure ecstasy playing Frontiers? Just like Oh. oh, I love video games. Oh, good Sonic too. And this Amy Rose costume is really cool. Did you design this? Is this from something? If not, it, it's a good design. I actually really like this a lot. 
especially like I literally just said, I love big shoes that are overly designed. I love the like hearts and like the stripes and stuff. Come on. It's like she's got her own soap shoes. Ooh, some doodles of my version of Salty's avatar while watching tonight's stream. Nice. I don't know if anybody feels this way, but the music that's playing right now kind of feels like Pokemon music from the, the DS era, like Gen 4. It's giving off that those vibes of like like shopping. Shopping in like the big shopping center in Gen 4. Did they have one of those? Comic book guy. I love these. These are really cute. No. No. -uh. Oh, and these are all of them on one canvas and the little small, the small salty. Also, OK, check this out. See this? Uh, I forget what the name of the Chrome extension is. I could probably look look at it. Uh, I have a Chrome extension that if you right click, Sometimes when you're trying to save an image, it saves it as like a weird type of file that you can't use in editing software or something. So I have a Chrome extension where if you right click on an image, you can save it as a specific file like PNG or JPEG. It is so useful for videos like for like getting like footage and researching and like images and stuff. I'll see uh, here. Let me see if I can open up my Chrome extension. What is it called? Um, okay, it, it's called save image as type. Save image as type. Look it up in the Chrome extensions store. I'll, I'll type it in chat too. That's what it's called. Save image as type. Search it up in the Chrome store. Add that shit to your Chrome immediately. It is so useful. I, I used to have so many problems. I'd have to download... I'd, ha I'd, I'd see an image that I need to use in a video. I would download it. It would be a WEBP file, which is great if you want to put it on a website, but not if you want to put it into editing software or Photoshop. So then I'd have to go and find a converter for it and convert it online to a PNG. It was a whole stupid thing. Uh, get that Chrome extension. It's amazing. I love changing Trevor's design every time I draw him. Apparently, there's gonna be a Friday Night Funkin' mod that has Trevor in it. It's like a- it's like a Sonic-based mod with like, I think... It's gonna have like Scourge and like a bunch of different Sonic characters. Uh, and apparently Trevor is going to make an appearance, I think for like a, one song? And that's exciting. I'm, I'm excited for that. There's a lot of Friday Night Funkin' related stuff that is related to me that is coming out or being worked on. I'm in, I'm, I think I'm in like, yeah, I'm in like two different mods that Jake Neutron is working on, on and off in development. I, I gotta say, Jake, Jake takes on a lot of different projects at once. I, I, I'm very envious. I, I cannot keep track of a lot of stuff at once. I have stuff on the back burner so long. I'm like, oh my God. But yeah, Jake is super talented. I love Jake's stuff. Uh, not gonna watch the stream. Uh, don't know how... No, don't know too much before I buy, but I drew the perfect egg father slash daughter duo since Salty liked them so much. I like them too. Based. 100% based. Also, your profile picture is fucking amazing. I think you you did pixel art before. If, if that's not the case and this is the first time I've seen your profile picture, it's really good. I love this profile picture. Totally guy. Yo, badass badass gamer. Made a quick little doodle of a funny gamer man last night while watching one of his Sonic Frontier streams. The game looks super fun, and I'm looking forward to playing it sometime. Badass gamer. Full of chaos emeralds. Are you insinuating that they're they're up my ass, like Trevor? I have so many chaos emeralds shoved up my ass. Ah, so cool. Contrary to popular belief, they don't really allow me to, to transform into Super Trevor when I do this. I just do it because I think it's funny. 
Not not because it's like sexual, just because it's funny. Also, I get off on it. Drew some salty DK Dan fan art. I liked how it turned out. Is this in reference to like me being excluded from like stuff? Because it's very funny. Dang, there's a lot of art. Wow, holy crap. Uh, Salty DK Art RT. Epic Salty DK Dan fan art. This is the Salty DK Studio. It's where this it's our cloud house. Ew! Homestuck! Because Homestuck is now canon in the Salty DK Dan universe. I turned Salty into a Homestuck character. Don't often do this, but it was fun to do. Burn it. Burn it now. It's too well made. Your name is Cat Girl Hours? Oh, that's sick. Well, it's originally Cool Girl Hours, but now it's Cat Girl Hours. To clarify that. Drawing sucks recently, so I'm trying to warm up with drawing the white boy ever. Oh, sorry, chat senpai. Wow, that actually hurt me to say. I don't know how I, how, how I did that so long yesterday, but like when I say it, it like my, my muscles like tense up. Comic book guy. I love these. These are really cute. I, okay, I need to draw my care, my, myself with blush more. I, I don't draw myself with blush like this. I like this especially, th this blush where it kind of like fits in with like the tone of the, the like uh, character a bit. What's the context behind Comic Book Guy? Uh, check out the first stream. Uh, basically, me and my dad were watching the new uh, Trios of Horror special, uh, and Comic Book Guy came on screen. And my dad, I guess, just hadn't seen Comic Book Guy in a while, and he was like, Comic Book Guy! And I was like, yeah, dad, that, that's Comic Book Guy! And then under his breath, he would just be like, Comic Book Guy. Comic Book Guy. And he just kept saying it, like, under his breath. Like, as if, like, I couldn't hear it. And I was just like, y y yeah, it is. It's comic book guy. I, I still don't know why he did it. I, I didn't ask him. He probably forgot that he did it at this point. Probably moved on with his life, and I've been thinking about that ever since. Finally posting something. Uh, I think I've... Yeah, I think I've seen these before. I don't know if I put them on stream, so we'll go over them real quick. Finally posted something, and it's some fan art of my favorite white boy TM. Although, it's more of just some simple doodle doodles I did on my school notebook. These are cool. I liked this last night, I think. Because I saw it and I thought it was neat. Comic book guy. I like this one, too. It's the funny man. Oh, and this one was really cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also bonus points for soap shoes once again. Sorry if this looks rough, rushed or off. Didn't have that much time to make it. Hope you like anyways. I am liking it because I do like it. Me when comic book guy. Art. Gotta go really quick. Also, my feet are large. And then this is I, I liked and retweeted this already, but like this is really cool. Um, somebody made like Mother 3 styled fan art of me, Pasty and Gerber. That's sick. And this is a cool rat that somebody drew. I don't know why you added the art account, but it's a cool rat. <laughs> nice rat. And then we're back to the omelet image from yesterday. I'll give it a quick re uh, reload just in case any new ones came in last minute. They're bald now, happy salty. Yeah, you got rid of the dick and balls, so I appreciate that. Ooh, sick. Choose your fighter. Hold on. I'm gonna zoom in. Damn, Pete wasn't... 
Pete, damn, Pete wasn't kidding about that capitalism stuff. So this is like fire red, salty. Stop fucking calling me. <laughs> no, 100%. If we played Heart Gold Soul Silver, and characters just kept calling me, I I'd be like, shut the fuck up. I would fast forward through that stuff immediately. Block all of their numbers. What the fuck is this hat? I really like the face of this. Also, yeah, I, I still to this day do not understand this, this cap. It's very weird to me. Hashtag drip the game. Yeah. Here's the thing about X and Y. I really, really like X and Y's characters and the stuff that it brought to the series. I love the design of the main boy character. However, I think that there's just not that much content in X and Y. The post game is like the, the smallest of any Pokemon game and it shows super hard. It really, we really needed to get Pokemon Z. If we got Pokemon Z, it probably would have fixed all of the problems that I have with X and Y. But we didn't get Pokemon Z. We just moved on to the next generation. And Sun and Moon were great. I, I played through Sun and Moon on my own time recently. They were, that, that's a great game. I love Sun and Moon. There's a lot of like tutorials and dialogue. And I know that's, a lot of people don't like it for that, but I, I found it fun. I found the region really cool. It was fun to explore. Uh, in my downtime at some point in the future, I'd love to play through uh, Ultra Moon. Maybe I'll do it on stream at some point. Who knows? But yeah. Also, none of these are correct uh, about the new season. Anyway, uh, going forward. Um. Yeah, no, this is definitely Eggman and EGA. Uh, this is my interpretation of Jimmy Hockey. This is a very interesting interpretation. Everybody else made him like a hockey player. And you made him like this like entity. Oh, it, it, one of his arms is just the word Wednesday. <laughs> Interesting way to to incorporate that. I also like the way that he's standing. Ooh, sweet! Me and Sonic and Tails hanging out? Hell yeah. Another fan art, let's go! Salty, holy shit, thank you so much for what you said last stream about my art. Literally made my night, you're a really cool dude. Also, Tails and Amy Arc, I love them, woo! Also, also, they're best friends, your honor. Thanks so much, dude. This this art is really, really good. Wait, what's your what's your pronouns? Alright, yeah. Good art, dude. Wanted to double check on that. I, I'll be honest, I use dude as like a, a gender neutral term anyway. It's, dude is for everyone. Everyone is dude. The only time that dude isn't valid is when you say dudette. I used to say that as a joke, but every single time I try to say dudette, I'm just like, oh my god, I want to punch myself in the face. No, everyone's a dude. Dudette feels like it's prick energy. Yeah, <laughs> dude is all-encompassing. So, yeah. Dope. Cool shit, guys. This was really good art tonight. You guys have been killing it. Just one last refresh. Can't be too careful. Oh, yep. I knew it. One last refresh. Oh, yeah. Somebody's making a Five Nights at Salty's like... Like... I almost said Friday Night Funkin'. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's style game? It looks interesting. If it ever ends up uh, being completed, I, I, might, I might have to play it on stream. Who knows? You know? Definitely want to check it out, at least. Yeah, good stuff. I like how you incorporated the new designs. It's a shame that, uh, sadly, the PNG files didn't upload right, and their limbs are kind of, like, invisible in the void. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's it for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. I'm really enjoying the game. Set it three streams in a row at this point. But... 
it's a really great game. Uh, I'm glad that I got to share it with people. These YouTube streams are going great, I gotta say. I, I think that going forward, I might just like, if if I do end up like only streaming on YouTube, which I honestly feel like it might end up being the case that I only stream on YouTube. Um, I think I'll just like archive the VODs on this channel in the live section. Because that's where they seem to do the best and it, the most easy place that they can find them. And I might use Salty's video dump going forward for just like, you know, random videos. I'm not sure yet. Random videos, behind the scenes stuff, maybe some editing tutorials. People said that they wanted uh, to see me make some editing tutorials uh, for how I edit and stuff like that. I think that could be fun. Put it up there. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you have any game recommendations or anything, you can always hit me up uh, on Twitter or on Tumblr. Uh, I try to read uh, my ats when I can on Twitter, uh, but my Tumblr, I usually am able to read most of the messages and like like Tumblr asks. I don't always respond to all of them, but I, I am seeing them. I'm, I'm trying my best. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful night. I don't know when the next stream is going to be. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually going out with my girlfriend Jess. Uh, we're going to have a nice little date uh, because we've both been busy with work uh, and everything that's been going on. So it's going to be nice. I'm going to get to see her again for a bit and we're going to chill out. I'm very excited about it. Um, so love you guys. Uh, be kind to yourselves. Remember, 30 minute walks. They do wonders for your health. Okay. Have a good night, everybody.